we'll say, like, I'm not a huge fan of like the Twitch cons and uh, I'm not a huge fan of like big conventions where a large, a large amount of people mm. gathering. Bro, I agree. People just don't like the shower. I don't understand it. Is that, like, that's actually a big thing there because I hear about that oh, shit. Oh, it is such a problem. I don't understand. Like, they'll legit go to these conventions and just decide, F it, bro. Let's not shower. I'm like, what the heck? And, and they'll smell bad, bro. Like, no, and you know what it is, bro? It's not, it's, it's that specific convention because you have a specific group. Like, I, bro, I'm going to be honest. It's, the, it's, it's, that, it's that fucking genre of people. You think it's just gamer? No, it's not, uh, bro. I, mean, I don't know. Be I've been to I've been to reptile conventions and nobody just smelled, bro. Like, you mean I feel like it's a great gamer demographic, convention? bro. That is Hold just on. we got a bigger conversation to have here. What the heck do you mean? What? What? A reptile show? Like a reptile? There's reptile conventions? Bro, it, whoa, okay, not a convention, but it's a, like a reptile show and they have like, there's all these different reptiles. Some people bring like their little crocodiles and they actually sell them. Uh, like little baby alligators and shit. What the heck? Um, you have them in It was, uh, it was in suck. Oh, uh, especially if you lost some teeth. Convention. What's up? Reptile convention. So, what? Do you go to them often or? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I used to go to them like. Do you own reptiles? I used to. I had a red tail boa constrictor. What happened to it? Um, I had uh -oh. to, I had to like give it back. I could, I didn't, I didn't, couldn't take care of it anymore. Them things get huge. I, yeah. I, I was, I bit off more than I can chew, honestly. Yeah, um, I, can, I can imagine that being. They they get bro, they get like fuck. I didn't realize how big they got. I just kind of did it on a whim, you know what I mean? I was like, whoa, this thing's freaking cool. And then I was like, oh, okay, I can't. Well, and take then it. you took it to the show, the reptile show. I took it to like a like a reptile shelter thing that I couldn't take because I couldn't take care of it anymore. I'm like, I can't, I can't fucking take care of this thing. The only crazy pet I've ever owned, I used to own a ferret. I was in like an apartment, bro. It wasn't a ferret. Yeah. I wanted a ferret, but I heard they smell. Ferrets are cool. Oh, they smell. A lot of those, like those types of things smell. But yeah, I, yeah. honestly, I want to go back to the, to the, to the smelly gamers, bro. Oh yeah. Like why y'all smelling? Dude, you know, there was actually, um, what's going on? We ain't using deodorant. They, well, like a lot of the conventions back in the day, they used to get like uh, sponsored by, um, like deodorant companies. Mm. They would go, they would go in. So they're they're like subliminally telling them, "Hey, wear this, please." Yeah, like my my boy is launching a a deodorant. Like he, you know, like the, yeah, and poor. I'm sure there's a lot of people when you game or no, a lot. Uh, okay. sometimes. Not really. Like uh he launched like a um, anti perspirant for your hands. It's called clutch, like clutch one. Oh, and, so your um, hands don't sweat. Yeah, so your hands don't sweat, so then like you can like, you know, grip have better grip when you're playing. And it, it I mean it works it's it's just like it's like a gel. You can use it for working out, you can use it for whatever. Yeah, I use it for masturbating, so I got a better grip oh, like nice. when I'm yeah. Yeah, but it, it dries your hands. I don't know how much that would help, but uh that would probably not be very enjoyable. But um Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> the he's launching a um a deodorant for get gamers like a whole like uh hygiene line it's pretty cool because like uh, dudes, dudes don't be taking care of themselves now they need they need to get more sponsorships so that more people are aware of this said thing maybe one that day. apparently people don't know about which is maybe one day showering I don't know, like yeah. what, they just ain't, and, and, and yo, and you know what it is, bro? I've noticed, and you, oh, you know what it actually is too? I think mm. motherfuckers don't wash their clothes because you're, you oh, know how some of them you're smelling like that mildewy, wet, like wet towel smell, bro? Yeah, I swear, I man, they're just not washing their clothes. I think that's also a big factor. Could be. I never thought about it like that. Actually. Yeah. I I remember this one kid, bro. He would come into like class or something, and he would you would you would smell it. It smelled like that, like fuck, like that 
mildewy, like disgusting, hasn't washed his clothes smell. I could see that being a thing to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Like a wet dog, bro. Musty. Yeah, musty is a good word for that. Freaking musty oh, ass. That could also be like uh, two things. It could be one that um, when, he, when the clothes would be done in the wash, uh -huh. they would let it sit in the wash. And oh, then my God. Be, and then it would dry in the wash, and then and, he would just grab oh, it. Oh, no. That's a thing that can happen. I mean, it happens to I haven't done that a lot Bro, let me tell before. you a story about that, actually. I actually did that because I... Because you're gross. No, because I started streaming, <laughs> and I forgot that I put it in there. Yeah, so it was it's... in there for the whole fucking day. I shit you not, I had to rewash it, like, at least two to three times. To, like, get rid of all the sm smell. Like, I, I, you would not catch me dead wearing something like that. Well, dude, I, I have a... I... Uh, I'm a very, I need to be smelling good, chat. I'm like I a very a problem. cleanly like, a guy. Problem. Like, I have super sensory nose. Like I can smell like really well. And if something smells like, like I put really on cologne bothers, just like, to scream. I can't. Like I, I, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I, I feel you. I, it's just weird. I don't know. I need to smell good, bro. I can't not smell like. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of cologne though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, me either. Like I think, like if if you, <laughs> this guy Curtis has a has a store of cologne <laughs> under his. Uh, yeah, me desk, either, man. Bro. Jesus, I love cologne, bro. I I'm at, this guy's an efficient. Bro. I I'm not like in love with cologne. I think cologne has its purpose, but I think like some people, like Curtis, probably mm. overdo it. I probably do. Like how many sprays you put on a uh like when you go I out? do I do two necks and then one wrist. Two necks. You got one neck, bro. What do you mean? Put okay, one listen, listen, listen. Do you see me on stream right now or no? Yeah. Okay, so I do one here, pss, one here, pss, and then I do pss, on my wrist, and then I put it on the other wrist. So I do each bro, like jugular vein, what bro. The hell? Yeah, I do each jugular vein, bro. Bro, just do front chest, back, and then wrist. Why you back? Go? Yeah, bro. So when you're walking, they, they, when you walk away, you get a nice, you know, like on your back of your neck, maybe. I don't know. Really? Why? Two sprays here? Nah, bro. It's it's no. It's one on this side, bro, and then one on the other side of the neck, bro, and then never. and then wrist. Nah, that's crazy. I ain't never sprayed shit on my back though. I'm gonna tell you. The back of the neck or like the back of your neck? You know. I have sprayed shit on my junk before though. Uh I don't I don't use cologne ever. I mean like the only time I use cologne is because Autumn bought me the cologne. I stopped using cologne a long time ago. And I'm just like, I don't really care. I just, I smell fresh. I, I just like I like smelling fresh, like clean. Yeah. I have a That's I have a me. good scent for that. Um yeah, it's, I used to do the spray where like you spray it in the air and then you run into it. But it, realistically speaking, what I've learned over the years of using cologne is that you it actually lasts longer on your body. Exactly. I am actually professional. Yeah. <laughs> it lasts longer on your body. So you spray it on your body, not your clothes. A lot of people have that mixed up. And they'll spray it but on you. Do clothes. you like sweet or strong scents? Um... What kind of cologne? Like, what's your favorite mm. go-to? Bro, like, I have a lot of it expensive it cologne. Yeah, it depends, bro. Like, there's just different like situations. Right. So far, I've been using um. Uh, lately, I've been using Raja. I think it's Raja Dove, and it is called Elysium, and also uh, yes, Midsummer yes, totally. Midsummer Dream. Ah, yes, yes. The good old <laughs> Midsummer Dream, right, chat? <laughs> but, Big uh... I, I mean, I like a lot of colognes, bro. Yeah, I use Parfum as well because it lasts longer. It's a it's a more concentrated uh, cologne. You ever <laughs> use, um... What's that stuff that, uh, like, we all emit? Like, uh... Pheromones. Yeah, you ever use pheromones? I've spray? never used a pheromone. 
What? Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. You can use pher you can spray pheromones on you? Yeah. I saw that in suits. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. The thing. Yeah, what is that? That attracts the, the opposite sex or something? Uh, no, only the same sex. Yes, bro. You. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that, okay, that won't work for me then. <laughs> Yeah, that's not. It's like, oh uh, wait, you gonna give me girls? Uh, nah, only the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> that's too straight for me. Oh fuck! Wait, so how, <laughs> so yeah, how wait, much so is, how is this? Uh, yeah, how does this? Uh, tell me a little bit more about this. Uh, not that I'm interested. I just want the people to know, you know, and chat. <clears throat> I have no idea. No clue. I just know that you can get pheromone cologne. Next that time, like dip your shirt in deer piss. Shit, go hard. <laughs> yeah, it goes hard, all right. Okay. What if I just drink it? I want to know more about these pheromones. I'm going to be honest. Apparently, uh, pheromone perfumes have like mango, honey, cinnamon, scents. Oh yeah, like that that Anchorman shit, right? Wasn't that? Didn't they use some shit with pheromone in it? I have no idea. Oh, so it's not just straight pheromone. It's like in a cologne, in like a in cologne yeah. form. I think you can like you know get it to have like stuff. I I have no idea, dude. To be honest, I got no clue how it works. I need some Sex Panther. Sex what? Sex Panther. What is that? Look that up, bro. bro. My stepdad used to buy me that shit. Yeah, that's, that yeah, shit go hard. Wait, can Sex you actually Panther can you actually buy, buy that? No, anyway. My stepdad used to tell me. The cologne? Buy me it for, for Christmas. Yeah, that shit go hard. 15 bucks? Bro, look at it. Oh, it's from Anchorman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cedar Fresh Lavender. That's the sense. $40. That's crazy. Yeah, I've never... I, I, the first I thing that popped up was some kind of sexting site. I'm going to be honest. For me, at least. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, Garrett, how, how did you and... How did you and all of me... Rust. Playing Rust in the Rust server. So, you... Okay, so you're telling... Bro, my fucking webcam. Yeah, Autumn and I met... What is going on over there? I have no idea. We're good. So you're it's telling me, up. you're telling the entire community that you can meet your significant other, your partner, through gaming. It's actually a uh, crazy story. Okay. Um, so I was in Colombia in 2021. It was like December 28th or something. And I was on Instagram and I saw this Grinch cosplay. So I was there during COVID mm. and the, the country was on lockdown. So I got there, it was open. Then they locked down the entire country. Said, if you leave your house, you're going to jail. Literally. Wow. I was like, what the hell? I'm visiting this country. I can't leave. Mm -hmm. I was locked in, locked away. And uh, I was on Instagram Locked and I see away. this Grinch costume. I'm like, dang, this is really freaking good. So I slid in the DMs of this Grinch and I was like, yo, your cosplay is really dope. Hope you have a great new year. Then you just they, slid into the DMs. Just yeah, like that. Like, this has nothing to do with Autumn. This was like in Colombia. Oh. I'm just kidding. But then I slid into the DMs. I was like, yo, you know, hope you have a great new year. Right? That's all I said. Really? Right? That's yeah. it? That's all yeah, you got to say? And then 
Oh, I can even show you because I'm locked on my Instagram. But wow. Um, so then w fast is. forward. She was like, thanks. Hope you have a great new year as well. And then lo and behold. How does the convo go on from <laughs> that though? Because she didn't. said it, it, it didn't. It didn't. No, the, the convo ended right there. That was wow. It. The convo ended. And then um two a month later, mm. I'm, I'm playing Rust. And I run into a girl with the same name of the girl I DM'd. Happy New Year. Wow. And then I was like, wait a minute. Are you the same girl I just DM'd last, like, Happy New Year? And she's like, what the heck? You're Garrett? What the heck? You're like, Garrett? That's how she sounds. Okay. That's how she, exactly wow. how she sounds. I don't know. And lo and behold, that was it. That's all she wrote. Holy shit, bro. It, all right okay so rust fair enough rust did it that's crazy fair yeah, enough rust. so i need Out to start playing games. more rust <laughs> okay that's pretty much what i'm getting at and dming girls on new year's eve Day. Send yeah. out I'm, like I'm, I'm going i'm going back on the instagram dm just so i can take a picture for you guys all right <laughs> okay oh, all right yeah, hey boys hey guys I mean, you heard it here first. This is I'll how you find honest, love on the internet. The way you really, you gotta be balding. And okay, so. you gotta, you gotta have, honestly, you guys, you guys all, you got it. You, you guys we, all got it. Okay. Here. This, this was literally, this is the DM. You ready? I'm ready. You guys, the inside scoop, dudes. All right. Are you showing it on your, on your screen? Uh, I'm sending it in here. Oh. This is this is the beginning. It, can we show this though, or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, chat. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Autumn. So I sent that. Roads. And then. Not even freaking 30 days later. But not the business chat. Not the business chat. <laughs> hey man, I Garrett. Was in, I was in I was getting the business. Garrett. <laughs> oh the my business, god. Right. Got the <laughs> I was getting the business. He was getting straight the business. Holy crap. I was getting the business. Came across came across your it's Christmas it's Grinch cosplay. Chat. And holy shit, let me tell you. Amazing job. Heart. That was it. Thanks so much. That was it. No problem. Yeah. Hope you have an awesome 2021. You too, Garrett. Garrett. It's now, good. does this... Garrett, you here? Yeah. Okay. Now, does this, is this also... Now, would this be something for a, a, common, uh, a common plebeian? like most of us or does this only work when you have a certain follower account on said platform listen man i am a big believer is that there's plenty of fish in the sea and there's a woman out there for mm. every man in the world mm. right mm. okay so listen like freaking all the basketball greats you don't make a hundred percent of the shots that you mm. make or take. Okay. Mm. You're gonna take the shots to make the shots. So just start taking shots. <laughs> okay, we talking literal? Like, should we just drink alcohol or start shooting? <laughs> <laughs> are we shooting guns? What are we shooting here? Like, just... so a lot of copy paste, like. <laughs> a lot of exactly. a lot of um. Okay. All right. right. And then hope Funny. you meet them in Rust. It, that's that's what I'm getting at. All right, so just hit up every girl you know. Uh, hopefully, you meet up. Yeah, every girl you know, hit them up. Exactly what yep. I sent Autumn. All right. This, yeah, like, same nice stuff. Grinch cosplay. They're gonna be hella confused, and they have to respond. Cause like, what the hell? Yeah, you might get some about? chuckles. You know, some people might laugh. And they're like Grinch cosplay, and they're like, "Oh my bad, this is how you normally look." And then boom, you're in. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, All right, get out of here, sicky. Autumn's here, like reminiscing, like this me get out of here. <laughs> Very reminiscing, sir. He's asking. 
Yeah, this right, is a great topic. Here, She's so sick, by you the way. You guys have to be balding. Oh, God, get away from my but, uh, We have to be balding. Yeah, they heard you. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, well. So... No, nah, but legit, though, I, I think, like, for... for, I think a lot of people nowadays are, are single, right? Um, to their own demise because they're, like... You're not gonna just find the perfect girl, right? Right. Yeah. And I, I just got lucky. I only messaged Autumn. That's the only girl I had ever talked to. So I got mm. super lucky. I messaged one message, one girl. Boom. Really lucky. Okay, so it's like that Eminem song. Yeah. Do not miss one your shot. chance. To, one yeah. shot. Do not miss your chance exactly, to blow. Exactly. Mm. Jesus, the first girlfriend I ever had. I, I have a hundred percent. Um, first girlfriend, first kiss, she's everything, all that. Yeah, 100% so, shot rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I think everybody else, don't take it out of my book. Just, you know, cast a wide net, you know? Just, like, literally message every okay. single person you run into. Talk to every person you see. Honestly, Why not dude, bad advice. Why is Mateo like he's in a freaking meth lab? <laughs> Uh, uh, I think he uh, is actually. Somebody also said, "Why does he look like he's passing a kidney stone?" <laughs> what does that mean? I don't. I don't know. I've never passed a kidney stone, so I'm not too Those sure. Are really painful. So I, I heard about. I heard they are. I'm on a trip, and I'm in a really ghetto setup right now. Oh, you're on a trip. Uh, I'm just. I'm just up north in Michigan. Oh. Oh, you're yeah. normally in Detroit, right? Yeah, I'm usually s more southern in Michigan. Southern, brother. What kind of uh, what kind of other places can we go in your in your lair? Oh, oh yeah, if you want. Yeah, dude. Someone said you miss all the shots you don't take. Worst thing you can do, or worst thing that can happen, is you get blocked. True. I mean, technically, you're not wrong, right? It's it's uh it's all it's all in your head at the end of the day. Garrett broke 173 how to get a girl to notice and want you rules. That mm. scenario would not work for normal folk. Listen, I guys, yeah, I might have been verified on Instagram and she may have seen it more, stand out more than the average Joe, okay? But Oh, here we go. Here comes Autumn. What's she saying? What's she saying? He's like, that's not the reason. That's no, not the reason. I know, but I'm saying, like, you would you have seen anyone else's message? Yeah, exactly. What? Wait, wait. Ashley. Uh, no, I know, but besides the whole rust, besides us getting in the rust. <laughs> okay, the only reason why she even was into me and even gave me the time of day, apparently, because I saved her twice in rust. And I was like her freaking knight in shining armor. And I'm good at games, and it, she thinks it's hot that I'm good at games, and girls like that. So if you suck at games, okay. you're doing. Okay, oh sorry, man. Ooh. Okay. All right. Girls like it when you're good at games. Come on. Ooh. Gamer girls do, not all girls. Okay. 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 She's like, get me out of here. Get out of here, sicky. Oh god, dude. You can't even see her on my stream. Like. So Gary, do not hold her head like that. Gary, do not hold her head like that. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. You guys are doing this. I honestly think it'll help a lot of men. Ring, 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 ring. What's cute? You guys are helping guys. All right, you go back to your freaking honestly, little you sick dungeon. <laughs> Get back to your cave. We don't need a woman in this chat. This are you is a, this bro, is that's actually... Chat. So I've actually wondered this because I know that women on social media do get a lot of messages from men. And do they get do they get hidden? Like there's maybe the somebody that you know could be a potential suitor for this this woman uh, have, get hidden I've seen, in the I've seas. Seen more dicks in my life being with Autumn than I have ever could have imagined. Mm. Mm. It is crazy. You like, know, I actually used to get a bunch of dick pics too. Not as much anymore, but why they stop? Why the hell? Were I you don't know dick why pics? they stop. I don't, bro, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Maybe they thought I 
swung that way or something. I'm not wearing sure. the male pheromone thing. Yeah, maybe I was wearing the male male pheromone. They found me. Uh, listen, I have a I have an announcement for all the men in chat. All right, girls don't want to see your wieners. All right, right. Like, no matter how much you think it looks nice on camera, I'm meeting a girl and I'm talking to her for the first time tomorrow, and I'm it. really nervous. It doesn't look nice ever. You're it's, meeting a girl. It looks like a like. You it's just started talking weird, to her, guys. or you, this Who is the first is time like, you're meeting oh, man, her. Look at my, my dick's so nice. You're the only one that thinks that. Right. Person's like, mm, let me unsend all those. <laughs> Shit. Uh, that one was a message. All right, that was a mistake. All right, sent that one to Mateo. Let's see. Well, I mean, you would you would know. What if her. the penis is, is has a, a bow tie one? and a top hat? No, that's even weirder. If you freaking have costumes for your dick. That is freaking weird. Curtis. What if I put a smile? <laughs> hey, hey, it's <laughs> uh, There's like a little closet just for his dick. It's like right, he opens it up and then inside he has like all his like he's like top hats. Yeah, you know, yeah. My scarf. And just in case he, he gets cold. Yep. Also got some sunglasses. It's di it's different. Like, you can't say, oh, yeah, I hate getting booby pictures. Right? Oh, my God. Please. Never mind. That, that's, you can't say that to Mike. It, it's totally different. Like, right. Like I love booby ass pics. You know? You're comparing apples and freaking watermelons. It's like, what? You, you can't even. They're totally different. It's. As yeah, long as. It's freaking weird. They're, right? of, a, they're of legal age. Even if you're like, oh man, I have to show this thing off to the world. It's so big, which let's be real, guys. No. Easy. I some of the pictures I've been seeing that they send to Autumn, I'm like. I didn't even know they make them that <laughs> He said, I don't want to see an Arby's it's beef crazy. sandwich. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm like, what is Wait, what did you here? say? What did you say? Oh, the dicks that Autumn gets? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's crazy. I feel like for men, it's different, right? Like, I, I, I wouldn't give a shit if somebody sent me. The thing is, the thing is for guys, well, like, we, we are visual. Like, we enjoy pictures and videos and yeah. all that stuff like that's how like we interpret stuff but for girls like bro like they're all bro freaking girls love the 50 shades of gray book for a reason they love mm. to fantasize like they're right you know, they like they that mystery right yeah yeah yeah, they, yeah 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 they like the it's different man the teasing the foreplay the just, oh just shit like, autumn's in here the, the fantasy of the 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 idea, not like, bro, nobody wants to see a dick. Nobody's like, mm, can't wait to can't wait to see a dick today. <laughs> uh, so in my, I mean, there are some girls that do, but nah. they like, no, no, listen, listen, because since I do what I do, you know, on my only feed or whatever, there are some that enjoy things, but it's, it's, it's when it is, when they ask, when they want it, you know what I mean? Yes, not the unsolicited Guys, remember that. that. That's the Not unsolicited. Me. Yeah. Exactly. They don't enjoy the unsolicited. They never asked you for that. They don't mm -hmm. they don't want it. They never asked That's you for it. That's when it's like it reaches a whole That's when it's level. a problem. Yeah, exactly. Because you gotta think about like this, bro. And think of it realistically. Would you send this picture to your to your mom or your aunt or your family member? Probably, yeah. Curtis is a weirdo. <laughs> he would. He would. But Yo, mom does, this, does, mom, does this look good? Does this look fine? I don't know if this... I don't know. I think I got a bump here. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who else are you supposed to ask? <laughs> yeah. Sister, how does this look? <laughs> Is this normal? Stepsis. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That was funny. Oh, man. It's a good angle, Grandma? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bro, I almost choked. I just took a sip of that. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was good. My ex's mom was proud. 
He can uh, only fit into Magnum XLs. Wait, what? My ex's mom <sighs> was proud he could only... You guys are what? asking me questions, and I feel so bad because I didn't answer That's them. weird, bro. I feel like this guy is That's capping. Like, what advice do you have for a 32-year-old bloke with That's six kid weird. kids to three different chicks? Are you, are you, are you, I can't tell if you're trolling or not. That is something crazy. And then what did the other guy ask? I never gave him advice. Hold up. There's people asking for advice. Okay, first guy that asked for advice. Yo, I've got a question. So I'm meeting this girl I'm talking to for the first time tomorrow, and I'm really nervous. What should I do? Any tips to impress her? Don't do anything to impress her. Mm. Mm. Don't, do, don't do anything out of the norm. Like, I think when you're first meeting someone, you just <laughs> be yourself. Her dick. You just be yourself, bro. <laughs> but, like, think of it like this. Oh, you bro. know how, like, you watch some of your favorite movies, right? Yeah. And it's like, it gets in, like, over time, you get into the craziness, right? Like, it'd be, like, you can't just right out the gate and be like, yo. I gotta remember I this, gotta guy, oh, this other guy's. Right, bro. Right, right. right. Like you gotta, or right. like, yo, I'm a dater for at least a nerd, year before you do that, right? No, a year. I don't know, man. However long it may take, but you know, you gotta be yourself. But <laughs> until you know, she accepts him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> let you gotta ease some of the things in. Like if you're like a big anime guy, as an example, like you love animes. Yeah, don't tell. Not not all shit. girls. Like if you go on the first day, you're like, oh, freaking love animes. I've seen every Naruto episode possible. I watch, you know, I got a whole freaking anime collection. I even got some pillows. They're gonna be like, what the hell? Those guys are a little crazy, you know? You could be yourself, but like, don't reveal everything just yet. But if she brings up anime, uh, ooh, you know? Then you it, go into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you show her your knowledge. So show up to the date naked. Okay. All right. So your advice is to hide aspects of yourself. No, oh, no, no. Just don't reveal everything because no good story in the beginning reveals. 100%. You're from Australia. Story, okay. The plot, the freaking arch villains, the nemesis. The thing, you don't have to give them all 100%. You know, just give them like e hey, ease into it. Give them a little bit of, you know, what they can expect, but not like, you know. Oh, so kind of like anal. Pictures. Huh. Oh, you what ease into that, right? What? The? What? Okay, my bad, my bad. I, I, I didn't read the room. I'm sorry. That was the wrong room. I read the wrong room. <laughs> anyway, we got another question. Uh, What's the other uh, advice? Another... <laughs> yeah. Hurry up. I got to go to bed in soon. I'm getting tired. I'm sleepy. Uh, okay, what advice do you have for a 32-year-old bloke with six kids to three different chicks? I don't know what advice he wants, though. He, that's all he said. Know, Does he want to meet your, somebody? Yeah, here's your advice. Take care of your kid, bro. Take you, care you, of the you kids. Have, you have and... six kids with six different people, and you're out here looking for <laughs> advice on, to the next woman? You already made six mistakes. How many more mistakes do <laughs> you want? Jesus, man. Oh, my. Wear a God. condom. That's the advice. Pull out. Get sniffed. <laughs> we'll tie the tubes. That's crazy. Take your death. Six <laughs> freaking kids, bro? Stop meeting women. Stop this meeting more. This guy's read every single Nick Cannon uh, book. He's <laughs> watched all the Wild and Out and be like, I want to be like him. That is crazy. Holy shit, bro. You should be barred from having sex. Start liking guys. <laughs> that's what just said on my nah, chat. that's crazy. That's crazy. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, actually dude. wild. Six. Oh, that's a, that has oh. to be a lie. There's no way. I know. I I I I think he was trolling, but he said he wasn't. There's no way, man. There's no way. How old are you? He said how old? Thirty. He said thirty-two. Yeah. What? The dude's been... Oh, dude, that's crazy. My man's been busy. He's been... He's getting busy. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. Seeking some guidance here. My wife's boyfriend holds strong views. Oh, no. Pause. Pause. <laughs> no. Pause. Don't even read the rest. I'm not. I'm not. My <laughs> wife's boyfriend? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> the first three said the first three words Strong my wife's the Trump boyfriend while i align myself <laughs> i'm looking for ways to navigate <laughs> this situation gracefully and respectfully <laughs> any suggestions on how to approach this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Well, it makes sense, man. Oh, Ozzy. fuck. Oh, man. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, I like that one. So, so those are the, the type of people in your chat. Six kids, three baby mamas, and a guy with a wife that has a boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's my viewership. That's my people. Hey, that's my community. What's up, boys? Hey, my guys. That's crazy. <laughs> yo, He's Dean Dinos. Cool, yo, what's up, baby? Thank you for 100%. the ten get this up, yeah. man. I appreciate that shit. Thank you so much, man. That's fucking love right there, bro. Let's get some love in the chat. Ooh, I'm 30 and looking to get hair implants. Any help? I oh, that's right am, up your alley, bro. I am professional now, guys. All right, I'm a professional hair transplant guy. For any dudes out there looking to get hair transplants, I would highly recommend if you're in your 30s or below, maybe even over, work on if you're losing hair. Are you losing hair, Curtis? Uh, no. I mean, a little like right here. Where? The corners. A corner? Yeah, just yeah. a corner. You have hair loss in your family? No, not really. I would recommend... Thank God I have long hair, chat, right? ...for you to start taking preventive care. Because it's only going to get worse. If you're already losing some in, like, the corners... Yeah. It's just going to keep going back and back and really? back. Really? Yeah. What do I do? What do I take? Uh, it's called finisteride. You should go to the doctor and just get it prescription. It's Does it hurt really... you? Is it like side effects and shit? No. There are some side effects, but it's like affects a very, very small percentage of men. Mm. Like literally like super, super small percentage. Do they do beard uh, transplants? Yeah, they do. Oh, shit. They, do. they probably do it all, right? Oh yeah, they do it all, man. They do Question eyebrows. for Garrett: How do you manage your relationship as both streamer? I think he means like as you both are streaming, like you both are streamers. Uh, like my relationship as a streamer, I'm confused. I don't know. That's all it said. I think he's just asking how it is. Like, it is it having yeah? A like, is it with two people that are streamers? Streamers? Yeah. I don't see this um, being that much that crazy. Well, besides the, the the shit that he has to deal with in DMs, honestly. That's a good question. I, I think like uh, <laughs> it definitely is a, it's a def it's a difficult balancing act because, um, you know, surprisingly, pube not, transplants like, you really really need to Probably, have a healthy relationship in order for it to work. Yo, Par, what's up, baby? You spend so much time with your partner, um, uh. being home all the time. And like for Autumn and I, like we literally go to we wake up, hang out, stream. Typically, we're streaming together. Um, like you you spend way too much time with someone sometimes, and it could cause problems. So like yes. if you're not fully in a relationship that you like enjoy being with that person, it, you're gonna have a lot of problems. Luckily, Autumn's my best friend. So yeah, like, we have no problems. Like we just did like three weeks in Europe, and we we're just like hanging out in a hotel room and just like we'll spend the whole day together no problem um but I, there are people that really struggle with that like they'll get into a relationship and the person will be a streamer and then realize well now i have to hang out with them on stream off stream 
go to sleep with the same person and it could get really hectic i think if you don't take like enough if there's not enough communication in the relationship to have high level conversations of how you're feeling then you're gonna run into so many problems because mm. in a typical relationship you know you both go to work you come home right yeah you know? now do you feel like so i've said to chat like sometimes i feel like always being well i mean that's basically what a married couple is but like i was saying like if you guys don't have your own things going on or like your own hobbies or your own like like you kind of want time to be able to miss each other in a way if that makes sense 100%, 100%. you know what i mean and like having your own things going on because like it, it, what what could happen is if this person is your entire life your entire world and you only do things with them then what happens if you guys do break up god forbid type stuff and like that's gonna hurt so much more because then you just like lost your entire life if you will that's and like it happens you know what i mean yeah yeah yo garrett we needed you last week what was last week but the what was the question was... last week I... I mean nothing specific just about the relation because every oh, everybody we had yeah. in here was all like anti-relationships i'm not uh, anti-relationship i'm 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 more like right relationship I'm listen. I'm I'm pretty. I'm I'm, I'm anti relationship as well. But um, hmm. I do. Interesting. I do tend to go the route of. Uh, I'm I'm against relationships for most people because there's a majority of people that are not in a good enough position for themselves to be mm. in a relationship with someone. Because like that's how I feel like yourself, I am myself. If you don't got yourself in, like, if you're not going to therapy and taking care of yourself. Bro, you're you're it's destined to yeah. fail. It's destined to you gotta work your shit problems. out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, therapy is expensive, so what's time? Like, like my, my best friend does a really good is doing a good job at it. Like, you know, he's he's working on himself to be in, in a relationship, a healthy relationship with himself, so that he can find a healthy partner that he that can complement his life. Mm. You know? compliment his life i like that i like that usage yeah. of wording so that's but i'm not a whore i was a whore i was a whore i think everybody par blaze needs therapy i think everybody can benefit from having conversations and different perspective from an educated person that it can help you navigate sometimes life's hardships mm. and like or just simple things that you know just to have someone to talk to from like that has like a a you know a degree i don't think everyone has you know major problems i definitely just think like there's things that are easier to work through if you've got someone that can help you see a different side yeah it's nice to have like an unbiased opinion or somebody that can kind of help you guide you right through things potentially What's Garrett's biggest challenge as being one of the founder speaker of CG? What is the question? Where is it? The, the K Kazer? In your What's, chat? Yeah, it's uh Oh here. What's Gar I don't know what he means by the second part though. Oh look at it, one second. Oh that's sick. That's great. Oh, what's the challenge of you, That's Curtis, crazy. being a member um, of the game? What's Garrett's challenge as being one of the founders for CG? And what's the biggest challenge of being a member? Uh, I think the biggest challenge for me is trying to keep everyone happy. because, and, and that's just in life, bro, to be honest. like It's just really difficult because everybody has their own needs and wants and desires. And it's difficult because, like, Sometimes things don't align for personal to group and like it's a constant reminder like, hey, like we got to put group over self. And sometimes as time has gone on, it's gotten a little bit more difficult because families, friends, things get in the way of that. Where I think like the sidemen have done a really good job in their entire career for the most part of always putting group before self comparatively where every other group has always failed. Look at like all the other YouTube groups, Team 10, like every other group that has come together, like even the Australian side, the click, like it's difficult to have to have a group of a bunch of influencers and people that are in the space because egos get in the way of a lot of decision making. Um, and once egos get in the way, it's 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 pretty much game over. So yeah, it's difficult. 
about you, Curtis? How has it been as a member in the group and and like even being in the streaming space as a whole? Mm. I know you you've had your pitfalls. Yeah. So I think I don't know. It's it's for me. I think coming into the group, it was a group of of a lot of big personalities, and I think that I kind of got pushed under the rug, if you will. I think okay. when it was with LB, I was more of a leader. I was more yeah. of a main person, main yeah. character, also, if you will. There's also different times too, where it was like more of a way uh, balanced playing field. Mm. And, and the LB side too, I think. I think yeah. on the LB side, like it was like, yeah, there was there wasn't a like there wasn't like a big member. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, it was like I was pretty. I was like. It was basically like Lang, Tony, and like me were like the biggest people of that group, right? Like, yep. And uh, I definitely had way more success with like that group, and I think it was for that reason. Um, Have you ever thought of uh, branching off and doing your own thing? Like, I saw today that Dun like Whippy started his own a whole new gang. He like left the BBMC, he created it, and left it and made a whole new gang. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know. Who I would I mean it's like what what Flippy did, right? True. Yeah, Flippy, I think Flippy played it really smart. He uh he went into a time zone that is not overpopulated. He populated it with himself and then he had his own crew and he became the leader of that crew. And that really helped him blossom, in my opinion. Um yeah, I don't know what, what would be the move for me to yeah, like think, make uh, it better, but I don't know. I think that's in in especially in today's day and age, that's always gonna be a struggle. I feel like um especially with the boys, it's it's gotten to the point where it often just even with how big the group has gotten, it, it feels yeah. like a a rat race or, or sometimes even a race to the bottom. Um, mm. just like you know, in general, in GTA 5 right now, like in streaming, actually, as a whole, like in order to have any sort of success, it feels that streamers to some degree need to stream like 200 to 500 hours a month yeah. minimum to have any sort of success, which is freaking it's crazy, fucking disgusting, bro. You could be doing so much more with that time, you know, it, it's just like. It's also just inherently unhealthy. And like, you know, you, you look at what Chrysalis was doing, uh, you know, I don't know, like a few months, like six months ago, maybe, where she was putting up like 700 hours a month or something. And like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, no, like, it, legit, I remember, like, yeah, she was, she was like always live. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was like crazy, crazy. So, but it's, a, it's a big thing, you know, like people, People like it, the sacrifice you have to make in order to make streaming work. Sometimes I don't know if the pros outweigh the cons. Right. Least. Nah, I especially, get that. Especially on on lows, like yeah. right now, where we like have right like, now. the economy in a sucky spot. Food p prices are at seventy percent higher than they were year over year. I think it's been. So it's it's been a little crazy, man. It's been a little crazy. Yeah, I kind of, I would like to move away from GTA, honestly, in a, in a way, like, well, I don't know, maybe not, like, I just, I don't know. I think my personality doesn't shine as much in GTA, if I'm being honest. I like stuff like this. I don't know if and, it's necessarily like, other GTA, stuff. though. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, it, it might dude, just I think it's everything. just a space in general. I think right mm. now it's really, really hard to have a breakout moment yeah. that makes, lets it, you shine as you, just because, like... I mean, look what's consuming people's brains right now, right? It's short form, high intense moments, yeah. long form streaming and long form YouTube videos are sort of on the way out to some degree. The newer generations have TikTok brains. So like, you know, they can only consume content in a short amount of bursts to get that like dopamine effects and like NPC freaking live streams are dominating the content world right now. People are making like five to 20 K a freaking day just doing NPC streams. Right. That's fucking so, crazy. Yeah, I think, I think COVID was the greatest blessing to streaming, 
but also the biggest curse because it put streamers in this position where, hey, I'm going to have these numbers forever. And then right when COVID ended and people started going back to work and normal lives continued, those numbers dwindled. And it absolutely, like, it's, it's a shell shock because you're like, when, like, what did I do wrong? But in reality, like, it wasn't even necessarily you. It's just, you know, that's just the way of the world. Like, the whole world went back to normal. Mm. Did you make any crazy uh, decisions or purchases? Uh, yeah, probably my car. How much is your, oh, what car do you have? M3. You have it, like, fully kitted or what? Mm. Uh, I'll tell you. You know, just tell me. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it's okay. But do you regret it? I don't regret it. I feel like I can still make content with it. That's like literally why I bought it. I but I just haven't made content with it as much as I wanted to, you know, because streaming takes up so much of my time. But I could probably make time. You know what I mean? I just gotta make the time. You still love it. Oh yeah, I fuck. I, yeah, I love it. Whatever. Uh, is that the biggest purchase you ever made in your life? Yeah. Is it? Is there a portion of you that regrets it? No, not really. No, I like it. I love it. I like the car. All right then. Yeah, I don't regret it. I very much enjoy the fucking car, mate. <laughs> um, but I do want to make more like content with it. I think that is that was like one of the reasons why I wanted to have it as well. Like I, I want to, I don't know. I think I could do like w working out stuff as well. I think I have the like, the type of body for it, uh, which would be cool. But you to, you I, I need more of a plan. Apartment. You go to a gym in your apartment, or no? I go to an actual gym. I'm already have a gym. What's up? It does. Apartment have yeah. it Is it any good or no? No. Dude, my apartment in Miami was so nice. Like, uh, what uh, the weights go up to though? Like two hundred. <gasps> they, they had a full stack. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> it was nuts. Where is one fifty? I think. I mean, why one fifty? What like, like whatever the the highest rack for like uh no I think it was maybe two hundred. I don't recall exactly, but it was like a full rack. But they only had one of each. It was nice. That's fucking crazy. I never knew a apartment to have weights that high. Yeah, it was weird. They had really heavy weights, uh, but they didn't have a bench press. They only had guided press. Did you see the guy that died? Uh, uh, I heard about that. Squatting. I didn't see it though. Was it squatting? Bro. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, like it was a cool. um, like a bodybuilder dude, right? Yeah, like. 20 something year old kid or 30 year old kid bro broke I his neck freaking, or something i saw it oh you watched I, it i saw his neck snap no way it, bro a hundred percent the squ the spotter is forever gonna live in guilt this guy should have not been spotting him the way he was he had a back spotter for 500 pounds you should have two people on the on the on the oh, uh holding the bar. He didn't. Oh, they only, they, no. and right when the guy started failing, the guy behind him, you can't do anything in that position. You, you can't, can't hold it up. Yeah. Uh so like he his I think his he went to go throw it forward. Um and like another guy saw he was like struggling and then he pulled it forward and it just snapped his neck. It, it's brutal. It's brutal, man. I was, I was like, holy. How did you see it? It was, it's freaking Twitter, bro. I, oh, I'm it's just, that one Twitter. Yeah, literally. I'm just like on Twitter, and next thing you know, I just see this dude's neck. Bro. Like, okay, there we go. I got it done. <laughs> okay. I, bro, I thought he was benching. No, squatting. Because if, if you, if you rack, he lifted off, and then he went, he leaned too forward, and then he went to throw it forward. And it just snapped. No way. Yeah. Oh my God. That hurts my neck right now. It's just 500 pounds. There, that ain't no, no joke. way that you should even be squatting. That, if if you want to drop it, you drop it to the back. You drop it to your back, low key. I think one of, the, one of the guys on the left of the guy, like, threw it forward. 
it just snapped it it, it it's just crazy i just couldn't believe i watched usually that. You like i was like what the drop hell it off I, your back. I couldn't believe it i, I was like, in shock me even like saying that but i guess he couldn't because like, the spotters you know how weird it is to say how regularly we see people die yeah why are they why are they normalizing us to this it's very very it's awkwardly normal to they're trying to die. are they trying to desensitize us oh our, we're totally desensitized bro is it that or is it what just gets engagement for them true yeah but what's the bigger play you know what i mean I don't know. I'm, I'm a sure. firm. I'm, I'm a firm. Not. I'm kind of a. <laughs> Always a bigger play. I'm a. I'm a firm believer of the bigger play. I, I I'm a bit of a conspiracy yeah, that, that, that kind of guy. It was totally ego squatting. 100. percent Ego squatting. Uh, that like that got the guy killed. That's crazy. That guy is never gonna. The benefit, like the benefit of squatting a 500 pound bro, like those gains. I mean, yes, you can do it, but like. You're not, you know, you're not building at that point. You're just doing it for the notoriety. Yo, Neo, thank you, you for the 23, bro. And uh, Prodigy, thank you so much like, for the tier one, man. You know, Appreciate you. What's the point? Can you give me a point of that? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just to be like, yo. I did it, yeah. I did it. the only thing they can think of. Because, like, you're not, like, building muscle by doing one rep of 500 pounds. You're like, oh, man, I just, you know. Well... There is a, I mean, you, you build more strength and whatnot. Like there is a, uh, because your body can handle it, right? Your, your, your body's ever changing when you're in, uh, when you're working out like that. So you're going to, you're going to keep increasing and being able to do different, uh, strengths, right? So like, yeah, but like he's at a level when, to where when you're at 30 years old squatting 500 mm. pounds. It, it just visually like even seeing how many plates are on each side it just looks like this yeah. is a terrible idea yeah i don't know was it maybe the guy just wasn't yeah maybe it seems like he just wasn't ready to be putting that kind of weight on he just wasn't ready for that type of shit was it 500 or 400 i don't know i thought it was 500 it's 500 or 400 regardless freaking either dumb. way it's a lot of weight Dude, just just do some leg presses on a uh, machine and leg press machine <laughs> <laughs> uh. especially when you got don't have a spotter like oh god it just it, it upsets me because like such yeah. a waste of life you know like what a what a his family must be destroyed his friends the spotter that made the mistake must be absolutely devastated that that's dude that spirals you bro something like that or like you feel that that much guilt you're like oh man mm -hmm. I, I was like i i was the cause you know scary yeah most i've ever squatted was 315 and i thought i did 415 but it was a it wasn't a squat it was a deadlift No, thank you, bro. <laughs> that doesn't. That doesn't sound fun. Yo, it was no. fun. <laughs> it was fun. You it's... laughed just like my girlfriend's brother, Mateo. Oh God, that's me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a firm believer in squats. Just, yeah, maybe, like, I don't know, know, know your limits maybe would be the would be the thing. I think he probably could do it easily. He just made a catastrophic mistake. Uh, and maybe when you're working with that weight, just have, bro, have two people on the side holding the fucking, holding the, the bar. You know, like holding the actual... Don't they usually, when you go up that heavy, they, they hold, like, the... They hold like the actual bar belt, like the, the actual bar, the squat bar. I don't know. I don't know what it looked like. I, I didn't see the video. I only saw the guy. Yeah, I would, I, if in that position, bro, I would just had a safe, like way better. Was it, did uh, they have the racks on the side? You know how they have the two racks? 
brother. He stepped out of the rack. <laughs> oh, he stepped out he of the rack. He was just <laughs> out in like out in the open. Oh. Like he was just out in the open. Like it they didn't have the safety bars that you know, like if you struggle, like you can drop them and they drop on the bar. Like he just stepped back out of the like the I don't know what yeah. it's called, like the the frame. Yep, yep. I know what you mean. There was nothing. It was just it's him holding nothing. the bar. And then he threw it forward, snapped his neck. Holy fuck, bro. Yeah, it's freaking nuts. Like so many things. It dude, there's so many things that went wrong in that thing. Huge lawsuit, by the way. His family's gonna sue the hell out of the gym. If it was like a, a big gym. Out of the gym? Oh yeah, they're gonna sue the hell out of the gym. What uh now how could they sue the gym though? Yeah. Uh because there's like if someone I think if someone dies in a situation like that, like they could argue like there should have been safety measures put into place so that that's big as fuck. Right? So then they would argue, hey there's so many ways to kill if you're being stupid. Yeah, but wrongful death lawsuits like happen a lot. Like it's really, really easy to come up with a wrongful death suit. Um, there's a chance that they might win, but it just depends on like what the you know legality is or what they Only sign to the gym. Most likely, they have things in place so like we don't have any responsibility for what happens in the gym. Like I don't know if you ever saw the video where, like where the guy got into the into the fight with the guy at the gym. Or it was like an ex-boyfriend or Have something. I seen videos of car driving fast, um, weaving in and out of traffic? Yes, I have. Dumbbell and then just drops on the guy's head. I love it. Kills him. Fuck. Freaking brutal, dude. He, he sued him after that? He died. The guy died. Well, the, the family sued the guy that did the weight thing? No, I have no idea why I even added that. I just thought it was freaking crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bro, I heard that about that. I thought you the four-year-old with the 800k. You hear about the four-year-old with the 800k for the burnt chicken nugget? Huh? The chicken nugget burnt her, yeah. and she got yeah, 800k. Like a McDonald's it was chicken. McNugget burned this girl's arm. Bro, like what is this shit? No shot. He actually did that shit really easy. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. From a chicken nugget? From a chicken nugget. Must have been a hot ass chicken nugget. That is crazy for it to burn that bad. Fourth degree burns? What is it? What the hell? Is it burning through her skin? <laughs> I don't know. No way That's... it's fourth degree burn. Bro, how hot was that chicken nugget? What the fuck? I don't know. That must have been crazy hot chicken nuggets. Like, there's no way. I, I can't even fathom that. Fourth degree burns. You sure about this? I, I that's that's the Instagram news I got. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> I don't know the degrees of burns. I don't are you guys talking about that's running bad. backs, Jiggy? What are you guys talking about? Like fourth degree is like how many degrees are there? <laughs> well, first degree is the worst, right? Or, or does it, wait, no, third, wait, no, fourth is worse. Oh, yeah, because third, oh, so the higher the number, the worse it is. Yeah, a fourth degree burn is, are, are the highest level and have the potential to be life-threatening. So, like, that's why it's, oh, like, it confusing. Says, it says second degree on this. Okay, 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 okay. Because, like, fourth degree, I'm like, dang, bro, like, this chicken nugget must have, like, burned through her skull. It's a lot of <laughs> shit, like... <laughs> Right through her arm. Like death by chicken nugget, dude. Bro. She was there eating it, freaking burn her like arm so bad she started bleeding. I don't know how that'd be possible. If you're you're burned. <laughs> Turned into thermite, exactly. Just burn. I would love to just get right my cardio. I arm. used to get my cardio right from sex, side. man. Not anymore. <laughs> the chicken nugget just falls out through your bones. His nose was bleeding after that. Are you serious? Oh, shoot. That'd be crazy. Bro, this dude it says it said the girl dropped one of the red hot nuggets onto her lap and it got wedged between her car seat and her leg for roughly two minutes. Oh. Leaving her thigh disfigured and scarred from the burns. 
Oh my, God, they use the word disfigured. That's Damn. That's a cool freaking story to tell when she's older. Ugh, yeah, that's a nest. They're using those it's trigger words. It looks bad? Let me see a picture. That's There's no dark. way it looks They got them bad. good trigger words right there, man. Disfigured? That's how they win in court. It can't be that bad, Mateo. There's no way. Let got rich off this. a chicken nugget. Oh, God dang! What, is it bad? Okay, that's bad. They deserve that money. It's disfigured, but how does it get stuck between her leg and the car seat for two minutes? It's a hot. Uh, obviously, duh. Dude, it's called bad parenting. You heard of that? It's like... Gonna be a scar. What the hell? I thought you were saying, I thought you were saying you're in a, a, cool in, a, scar. in a different place. That room looks totally normal. Oh no, it's just not. It's just not my room. I was just. That was a lie. It's just a different room in a different place. Um. Hold up. Yeah, I think in those cases, for sure, the money should go to the kid. Yeah, do you think what they set up some type of uh, account for it or something? Nah. Oh. The parents ain't spending that shit on the kid, bro. Let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, we paying off our house, you know, we're getting maybe a new car. <laughs> 800K is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I don't know how much of that goes to the lawyers and stuff. Mmm, that's a good the point. Oracle said they were suing for like 15 million at first. That's crazy. I mean, the same thing happened with McDonald's and their coffee once, yeah. right? When you have a kid, you'll like know. A, no, what? I have. I do have a kid. What's it called? What will I know? This case is called that. Like sets precedents. She's just gonna have a scar, bro. I have a, I have a, yeah, I have a daughter too. She's gonna have a scar, bro. My daughter has scars. She, she's kind of rough, you know. She plays. So, Gary, do you think? Um, she's, a, she's a tough, you tough think gal. The group of Chain Gang would benefit from more uh, focus on outside of GTA RP stuff. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You're, I have. You're, you're I don't have kids. I have a kid. Kid for doing more than just the current. Oh, how quote. the chicken nugget got there? Yeah. Oh, how they just be dropping shit? Because yeah. it seems to me like, as an outsider coming in, like people just want to see. The yeah, boys, I mean, like, I think we got a lot of people that don't know because any, they don't. Like, they don't normally watch the stream. Forum, I guess you could say, or like any any platform. You see, yeah, GTA is like kind of like the the best way. Wait, what did they say? Yeah. Wait, what did you say? Wait, wait, wait. What was the question? I what was the I didn't hear it. Let me run that back. Uh I was just asking Garrett if he thinks like moving outside of GTA RP would be good for Chang Gang as a group. Okay. Yeah, I think like it would be sick to have like um like a you know five part YouTube series where we do like you know certain things like cool events or like a you know, pranks or mm. but maybe like a real life Olympics or something or like, you know, any anything, literally anything. Um would be cool, but um Yes, gimmick, I do. Difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> you gotta you in this world that we currently live in, you've gotta want it. And if you're not making the efforts to do something You'll never achieve more than what you're currently doing. So um, I think with a lot of streamers, there is that like fundamental, like, you know, the norm of just going live every day and it pays the bills. Why do more than that? And that goes with everybody, right? Like, you know, you go to your nine to five job. Why do more than your nine to five job? Why even get a higher education? 
why even look for a new job when you already have your job that you're happy at? It's just, you know, it's a, it's a thing everybody has an issue with. So you gotta, you gotta be driven and hungry enough to reach new levels. But if you're already at a level where you don't even know what to do with what you're already currently getting, then what's the point? And That's true. It. Yeah, I, can... I get it. Mm, true. Especially I like, you know, I think the biggest Hutch would win if it's uh, a CG race has going for it right now is we have comparatively the other groups. Can Hutch in, even run fast? The that motherfucker big as hell. Space, like we have a very, very, very large age difference amongst the, the youngest fuck? member to the oldest member. It's almost like 15 years or something. From like, mm. from like Big D, which I think he is the He plays youngest, baseball. To... I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's say like Jared or Summit. <laughs> bro, I like don't give a, a fuck what he played, bro. Frame. Dude, he is... Bro. So, Big D like 19? <laughs> he was a I pitcher, think, motherfucker. Yeah, this dude, think you think so. this dude runs fast? <laughs> bro, chat, are y'all dumb? <laughs> how, old is, how old is Jared? <laughs> like 30... Bro, <laughs> Y'all really think that? <laughs> yeah, 36. Exactly 36. Bro, people said if, if it was a race, Hutch would win just on the simple fact that he played baseball. I'm like, bro, y'all, there's no way you guys are actually thinking that. This dude what? is the this dude was a pitcher and he's big as fuck. There ain't no way he's running that fast. Uh, what was the thing that, that like a race? Who would win a race? He said that Hutch, basically Hutch would win because he 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 played baseball. I don't think Hutch runs very fast. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying, bro. He's too big. He, he he's. I feel like he's slow. I was, even, I was, even, maybe if he even, was like a small soccer player or some shit. Even at his peak of baseball and physical fitness, I don't think he was very... Yeah, I'm uh, sure he can bench a lot quick. and do all that shit, but like, I don't see him as a runner, you know what I mean? It, just, it, it was just funny that like they think because he played basketball or baseball, he can just That's automatically just run. Um, you know what? No, nope, he plays baseball. He can run. <laughs> that was funny. What advice do you have for the younger members of CG? I'm sorry, like I should D, not troll Taco. you guys. How old are you? Um, I'm 22. You're a baby. Um, yeah, you're a young buck. I think for some of the like the younger guys, I think like just stay hungry. I think that's I think that's Taco's biggest demise. I think Taco's hungry. Yeah, but he's, just, he's just lost. He's lost in the hunger. He'll be like he, he'll be hungry and then he won't be hungry. It's, it reminds me of me, honestly. I talk it reminds me of me a lot. It's just it's difficult to remain, especially when you don't have a goal. Yeah. You don't have a clear path to your success. You're like you're like just lost in the sauce. You're just like, I don't know which way to go. Yeah. Like I think I can just use Nick as an example because it's easiest, but like like when he came back to Twitch, him knowing that what he knows of him being banned on no pixel, he should have gone and played on a GTA 5 server that will have him and that he will be happy on. And even if he has to rebuild, like, it's very possible because look at Omar as a perfect example. Omar Super is late. crushing it. Yeah, he is. He gets 3K CCV from 250 viewers on Facebook. I'm going to add my homie, by the way. Just you. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, like, he, it's very, very, very possible to gain an audience outside of uh no pixel but it's difficult it's better than like you know what's currently do you think that the uh what's this thing is tiktok helped out with that oh 100 uh, percent uh, but but he had to had started tiktok right to put himself in the position to, that he's in now yes like, and that's why i was like you've got to put yourself in winning positions and right now like I can confidently say, and he knows this, he doesn't, he's not putting himself in any winning positions, nothing like that. He's like, even in attempting, like playing only up that's done and got, gone. Like it, it's not going to, who's that know, taco or taco, anyone that like, anyone, like it's just, right. you know, like you've got to put yourself in a position to, to, to succeed. Yeah.
What's up, Bless? By the way, this is Bless. Yo, up, Curtis. Bless? How you guys doing? What's good? What's good? good? You know, um, but this is a perfect time. Bless is going to take my spot because I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Good okay, night. Garrett. Yeah, it was GG's good talks, bro. Good stuff. All we right, love guys. the wisdom. Good Have girls. a good night. Later, later. Good night. night. All right. Later, brother. Who? Thank God that guy left, man. I, uh, I honestly, geez. I can't Bro, stand I him. Just got here. Yeah, yeah just I don't. Like, fuck, I do. Like, I do not fuck with that guy at all. I'm gonna be honest. So what's up, Bless? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What you got I'm going good, on? By the way, I was joking. Hey, he hates you now. So. Oh fuck. I'm gonna make sure I, I tell him that you're. That's why he left. No, no, no. He's been <laughs> trying to leave, and he was looking for any excuse to leave, and that was his excuse and he used it <laughs> um yeah we just been talking about a bunch of different shit yeah I, um y'all were talking about working out and i'm like ooh. why you've been working I out or not it. been working out no i've never worked out in my life what the hell <laughs> why not maybe like at home workouts for my ass but that's about it mm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what do you be doing for that? Some hip thrusts? Like a lot of leg workouts. Like I don't know what any of them call it because again, I don't know shit about working out. Mm. But like um, when you lay on the floor with your hands and knee and then you lift your leg up, I don't know what it's called. Oh. Like a bunch of that, squats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. Um, <laughs> You don't go to the gym? Nah, I never really had to. Like, I've always had a, like, naturally fit body. Okay. And now that I'm getting older, like, I definitely feel like I need to tone up. Yeah. I mean, it's always good to, you know, get your fitness on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it does give you energy. Oh, yeah, it definitely gives you energy. I mean, unless you're... Mm, mm, mm. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, Mateo. Don't, huh? don't be don't be looking like that, Mateo. Don't Mateo. be looking like that. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Chat was chat. Okay, listen. It's chat's fault because chat was talking about how they got cardio. All right, and they told me that they had sex for cardio. I, listen, that's what chat said. I mean, that's that's a good cardio. It's a good cardio, cool. right? You still get a workout it's a in, yeah. A it's a good cardio. Car. And you know what? For guys, the more you th you're working your butt when you thrust. I'm just I'm gonna put that out there for you guys. All right, remember that. It's all about the position. It's all about the work. It's all about working out, guys, and being fit and protecting your health. <laughs> <sighs> no, that's a, that's a really good workout, and you're working out your abs too. That's right. So. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And listen, everybody has energy during sex, so. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I, listen, people tell me, how do you have the dedication to go to the gym? Like, what gets you going to the gym? I'm like, once you go to the gym and you get in there and you start working out, yeah, everything's going to be fine, man. Like, I, I finished my workout. Everything's good. You know, I don't feel like going to the gym. But then when I get there and I start working out, I'm fine. Just like, you know, you might be a little bit tired. But once you start having sex, like, everything's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same shit. Are you streaming right now, by the way? Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can. They were all like, "Go, join." I'm like, "I'm tired. I'm gonna be boring." I... <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, you got me up here. Look, uh, what the hell? But we don't got you up here. What the? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Bro, look at this. Wait, let chat. me move my camera over here. <laughs> what the I mean, hell? You guys could just put your face cams on Discord and then stream the Discord. Oh. And then everybody's face would be in everything. Wait, I'm gonna just um... click on click on the picture and makes your cam big. Yeah, but then I'm gonna have two faces on my stream. Chat's gonna see two faces. Is that fine? You got dual PC? I got dual, yeah. I'm gonna dual PC so bad. Is your Discord on your your streaming PC or your main PC? Shh. Main. 
Who's the bottom per yeah. It's me. I'm the bottom person. Sorry, my loud ass typewriter. You're good, you're good. Oh, so uh, uh, on that topic, Curtis. What you yo, what up, Angel? About... What'd you say? Mateo? What do you think about the role of jerking off when going to the gym? <laughs> do, do you do it? Wait. At all? Wait, 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 wait. Jerking off and going to the gym? Like, like you'd, you'd be jerking it and you... then go to the gym? Well, that's what I'm asking. Like, would you... Do, do you jerk off before you go to the gym? Or do you, do you jerk off at night after the gym? Yo, so... I don't know, man. Is there... I, d I mean, I don't... I probably after. After, for sure. Okay, so Normally, you don't get any, like, you don't get an energy boost and then go to the gym. But is that scientifically proven? Do you actually get an no, energy boost? Asking. I don't know. If, I don't know either. I don't I've know. never tested it. I feel I like I get weaker. Penis, but I think, really? I would think you guys would get an energy from that. Nah, bro, because after you jerk off, you're like tired, right? You're like done. You're like, I mean, Sometimes. I just, I just spent the load. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm donezos out here. Oh, so you, you're not a, you're not, you're not a morning, uh, masturbator. <laughs> Look at this fucking dumbass, bro. Look at him laughing at himself. He thinks he's so fucking funny. No, no I'm, I'm not, not a morning, not I'm not a, I'm not a morning masturbator. Listen, listen. When you have your highest testosterone, it's actually in the morning, right? So you want to go to the gym mm -hmm. before it's too late and you lose that testosterone. And then after you fucking go to the gym, you hit that shit hard as fuck. Then you're probably going to hop in the shower, man. You might as well, you know what I mean? Let one loose then. Or for me, the, normally that's when I get my, 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 you know, my only content in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, it's my time. And then I, and then I, uh, do that. And then I normally start to stream. Boom. Well, I eat. Gotta eat. Like for me personally, if I masturbate, most days I would get energy. And then it's rare where I'm like, fuck, I'm drained after that. <laughs> really? So you get yeah. energy? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a buff. I feel like I get energy in the morning. It's a fucking buff, bro. She gets a <laughs> oh my god. She can lift more, she can run faster. Oh my god. I, I play Valorant better. Like, you know. She's in the she's zoned in, bro. Full focus. That's crazy. I Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't get tired, I'll be honest. Maybe I maybe I should use it as a buff. <laughs> but you said you get tired. Nah, I don't really get tired. I was just fucking saying that. I think I'm more talking about like sex. Oh, okay, okay. Sex, you definitely get tired. Yeah, I exposed myself. Yeah. Unless, whoa. Well, especially, especially because the fact of the matter is sometimes, you know, you could have a, uh, what they call a dead fish. Mm. And so you're doing all the fucking work, you know what I mean? So you don't get, you know, post nut clarity. Mateo, you don't nut at all, so you've never had clarity what in do you your mean life. I don't nut. So, I nut. Okay. I you nut. Don't, what did I come into? You don't nut. <laughs> Yo, what up? I do nut. I well, don't know why this is a conspiracy. Angel, you hopping in this? Listen, listen to me. The fact of the matter. Yo, well, do you do you get energy after you you nut? Uh, really depends to be honest. And do you, ha do you feel like you make better financial decisions and you're, you have oh, yeah. way more clarity decisions. afterwards? Uh, financial decisions. No, I was stupid when I was in the Navy. Gary, but, thank um, you for the raid, man. I clarity, appreciate you. Love yeah, you, baby. Yeah. I feel more, less stressed too. Yeah. Hope you had a good stream, bro. 12 hours. You're crazy. I feel like I communicate better as a human after I after you've released after I've released the okay 
I mean, hearing the way you talk in GTA, uh, you must be a completely different person after. Huh. Well, that is after. What you don't want is the before. Talking about shooting loads, I know Bless was shot at by a gun, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what the fuck? I didn't get shot. <laughs> so she was in a rival gang battle. And she, she Not on GTA, by the way. I wrote. <laughs> she, she's, you know, she's real, you know, she's fucking, you know, she gets down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they was hunting her. I clutched it. You clutched it up, though. Yeah. Now, nah, you can tell the story, though. What happened? What, what actually happened? Um, where were you, where were you living? It happened live, by the way. It did and happen live. Yeah, Georgia. it was a clip. You were yeah. in Georgia. Yeah, I was living in Georgia. I moved out there for a calm life, you know, to live a happier, right. calm, Georgia? peaceful life. Yeah. <laughs> the sticks. And, um, there was, I was, I was actually streaming, by the way. So all this happened live. There was a shooting in my apartment complex, like downstairs from me, and bullets went into four different apartments. And it wasn't like a regular like pistol, like pop, pop. It was like, like no, <laughs> that's like, crazy. <laughs> yeah, like they had the switches on. Mm. Um, and bullets went into four different apartments, and my apartment was one of them. And yeah, it was a traumatizing experience. I don't know if anyone else here been through that. Already. Mm, not in my neighborhood. It just happened uh, about a year ago, like three houses down from me. House got shot up and shit, but not like to my house itself. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, I I have pictures and everything. Like the windows in. Okay, so it happened in the front apartment downstairs. So the apartment above that one, all the windows were fully shattered. Do you have the clip? Um, yeah, I do actually. I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah, put it in the group chat. America in a nutshell. Facts. <laughs> Honestly. I mean facts. That's why that's why people from other countries are scared to come here, man. Uh, so we got Mateo who does do GTA bless. I think used to do a bit of GTA, but now you play mostly Valorant, right? You're a Valorant E girl. Again. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> I'm a Valorant E kitten. I bark for, I bark and I meow and, <laughs> yeah, and I get carried. Wait, for your duo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get carried. <laughs> Oh, you bark for him? Yeah, yeah, I bark, I meow, and I give heels. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, I'm a Viper man, but I just started um, playing stage. Goose, can you please find me the clip? Somebody in chat? Because I can't find it. Can you guys find it, please? Yeah, chat. Get on it, my dudes. Oh, Angel heard barking, bro. She's, a, she's a <laughs> ears, her ears perked up. <laughs> Yeah, oh, sincere um, wants me to do it. Oh, yo. So, would you ever do a NP NPC stream? Hell no. Nah. Uh, no judgment, but I I don't think I would be good at it. It's just not for me. Why not? Why not? Why not? You too real for that? Uh, I could try it right now. Let's see. See, I don't. I yeah, don't but we don't see you, bro. <laughs> you gotta show us. Um, let me bring your stream up again. Let but me delay, what though. am I supposed to say? Bro, you yeah, say, I hold up, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hold up. Well, let me find your stream again. Thanks for the subs. Wow. There you go. Yeah, Another yeah, yeah. Give sub. <laughs> wow. Ice cream. Wow. Yum. Ice cream. Yum. <laughs> Yo. You what? Liar, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> hold up, hold up, bro. That's spot that on. That was really good. Wait, if it hold was up, good, let me I'm get. I'm fucking do it. What the hell, bro? Why wouldn't you? What? <laughs> get the bag. They bank. Yeah, they make him fucking bank. Oh, we missed it. We missed her. Do it though. You gotta do it. You gotta do it for the. Do it gotta do it, it for chat for the one time. Yeah. 
Why isn't the link? Um, case. Okay, I sent you the link. I think. Uh, oh, you were playing Valorant okay, at the time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, another gift sub. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the bit. Wow. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Mateo, why are you good? looking like that? No, please don't. See? Mateo, why are you looking Mateo, like I that? I the same look on my face. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> see? Oh, see? Nah, I, was, I was looking at some other stuff. <laughs> Mateo! Hold on, let's watch I swear this clip. To God, if y'all clip that, everybody's banned. Everybody's clipping it. Banned. Everybody's clipping that shit. Don't clip that. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, but do you do, do you get real? You get real. You get. Man, this video. I remember watching this. It was kind of. It was sad. Yeah, and then because of, uh, because of. How like um shocked I was and just yeah. I the internet bullied me. Hey, what'd you As say? If I shot the gun. I said because of like how I froze, the internet bullied me because of how shocked I was. Oh, they bullied you. Is that what you said? Yes. Hold on, let me watch it. Let me watch hell it. Hell after this shit. Hold on, let me watch it. We'll talk about it. Right. See, so you're at 48. Wait, are you? Wait. wait let me see. Oh, you're silver too. I thought that was silver too. <gasps> what? They're, the shooting, they're shooting. 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 I can't Oh my yeah, god. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. You're okay. Oh, what? Just breathe. Just breathe. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I don't even know what I would do in that situation. I mean. Yeah. That's scary as fuck. So what did they think? They thought you were shooting? My chat? Or, okay, so some people said that content creators make anything up for views. These creators. <laughs> oh, like they thought that, you... Like I made it up. Yeah, like I made it up. How would you have um, made it up though? Like you told people you to come people shoot to you? shoot at your house. What do you mean? I guess. That's what they acted like. Everything was fake. Um... I also got bullied because they said, why did she get on the floor? She's so fucking dumb. And every, you know, the internet, like they're super. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bunch of people who think like I've played Call of Duty. I'll be able to handle real gunshots going at me. Yep. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's, no, yeah. you're going to freeze up when you get shot at. What the well, the fuck? Fact of the, yeah, the fact of the matter is like she, you just did what you were like, you just did what you were doing. Like, that's what you, you didn't really know what the fuck to do. Reaction. I mean, yeah, that was your reaction. And that's just what it was. That's it. And it's crazy because, like, I, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, right? So I, I've heard so many gunshots. I've shot a gun. Like, I, I've been around this, right? But it's so fucking different when you're at home, completely off guard, in your home where you, like, feel safe and some shit like that happens. Mm. Like, that shit was an out-of-body experience. Like, I had adrenaline after that, and I, I streamed, I think, for, like, nine hours because I... And I felt so awake. Even after I ended stream, I still couldn't go to sleep. Like, it was right. such a weird, like, feeling. It was fucking crazy. And then for that whole first week, like, anxiety every day, all day. My hands were, like, shaking every single day. Like, I would start my stream, and instantly my heart would, like, beat out my chest. It was weird. Like, I don't You know probably having, like, panic attacks and shit over it. Probably yeah. PTSD from it. Yeah, I did. But I was still able to, like... Like, I play Valorant, right? So you hear the gunshots. I would think that that would be affecting me, but little stupid shit affects me. Like, I remember I was walking to the store out here, and this guy was, like, calling up towards the window for somebody to drop their keys out there. So I knew the lady was going to throw the keys out the window. I knew the keys were coming, like, to drop. And for some reason, I still got the shit scared out of me when the keys dropped. Mm. And it wasn't even, like, a loud noise, but, like, little stupid shit like that, like, scares the fuck out of me yeah 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 like it triggers the effect like right that now my hands are literally shaking because i'm fucking nervous talking about it like 
even okay, just okay. talking about, talk this about it. <laughs> no no i don't mind like i'm good I'm yeah good. but it's, it's still nerve-wracking and i feel you yeah that's that's a, probably a crazy situation to be in man um the, because like you just you could have been so close to you know facts like you literally hear the bullet come into my apartment like you hear the pop really if you pay attention to the video yeah hey didn't you, you say the, you, um, there was like pictures of it or something yeah i have pictures but i have to look for them to see i wish i was more prepared because i would have had all that shit for you honestly um oh now nah, you you're good though like yeah but i i wanted to talk about it but it's like I didn't really have the platform to speak on like how I felt and how everything affected me and what happened exactly because when and everyone else posted it everyone like news news um news companies were hitting me up for interviews and I just wouldn't do it initially because it was like really that same week yeah Mm. Like I was getting hit up from so many different. And were people saying like you were trying to be chasing cloud and shit or whatever for it? Well, like um, they said you were doing that, it like to get recognition. No, they, said that, they said that that happened for, like I made that shit up for cloud, but they didn't say that I was. Tr oh, they said that I didn't get down for cloud. Like oh, she stood on camera for cloud or whatever the fuck they said. But um. Yeah, I, I was scared to speak on it. I, I told everybody no. I just spoke on it recently when I started streaming again when I moved back to New York um, on my stream. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm not even going to create a TikTok, like nothing, because it was just, I feel like people don't give a fuck about what I have to say, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like, I think we all think like that about ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes just doing it though is the right step. Yep. Because uh, you can talk yourself out of a uh, hundred different things. Like you, t you, you talk, you almost talk yourself out of tonight, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> like when it's just a simple, you know, hop on. You know what I mean? You just do it. A lot of pressure. Yeah. Oh, so let me explain the whole situation now that I'm like even speaking on it. So apparently, um, so my neighbor that lives directly next door for me, but this one is her apartment too. Mm -hmm. She apparently got a call the night before that happened. And they told her, don't go home tonight. And she didn't know like why, and they didn't explain to her why. But people from that area called her and told her, don't go home tonight. And then the next night that happened. No, no, no. That night that happened. The night they told her that. Oh, the shit. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Like, Why did you call me and tell me not to right? be home? What the fuck? Where the fuck was my warning? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So the guy that lived on the first floor, which that's who the shooting was for. Oh, there's some he, dude that lived on the first floor. Yes, a guy and his girlfriend. He wasn't even, they weren't even home. So they got lucky too. Because the whole living room, but this one in to every window, every window was shattered. His whole front door was like bullets riddled. Um, Zolito. The bullet that came into he said he was gonna join, my apartment but, came uh -huh. from the apartment next door. But then there's an apartment behind his, girl, his he might cheat, and come later. this went through two walls into the next apartment. Like, that's how crazy the situation was. Like, the Holy bullets were going shit. through, like, two full walls and going into other apartments. Yeah, because it might not be. It might only be like uh, like sheetrock. It might not be. Yes, it is. Yeah, it might not be like, uh, you know, anything that can withstand it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. And Do they know what type of bullet it was? Was it like just like a 9mm? Was it, was it a 45? Was it? I have no idea. But again, like the way the gun was shooting, it was like. Like, if there was switches on the guns, like, it was straight, like, if you pay attention to the video, you'll hear it. Even mm. some people were like, all I heard was two bullets. Why is she acting so... Yeah, it, well, in the video, it doesn't sound like it's shooting, like, a machine gun. Like, it doesn't sound like it's you shooting, like, automatic. To, but you maybe... You have to really listen. Yeah, maybe... Oh, I, I think I found some pictures. So, this is one of the, one of the bullets in my apartment. I'm going to send it to you. And 
then I think I have a picture of Um, oh, yeah, it's just sheetrock chat. Oh, the cops, the detectives came the next day to my apartment. They said nothing to me. They knocked on my door. I opened my door. They walked right past me, like five of them. <laughs> and I'm like, he hello, good morning. <laughs> they walked right past me. Really? Looked through my apartment, yeah. And then they left. Like, they didn't even speak to me and nothing. They just came in, looked through my apartment, and then walked back out. And then, like, a few days after that, the maintenance came in to patch up the bullet holes. So that was one of the... Let me see if I could find the door that's riddled. Huh. That's interesting. about on this topic but it's like i have brain fog i just sent you a video of the door and then i'm gonna send you a video of the windows Fuck, how do i Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I thought my shit cut out for a sec. It got so quiet. <laughs> I'm so. Yeah, I was watching the video. Damn, bro, that looked crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that door got fucked up. And that's nothing. There were bullet holes all over the wall. Because right there, the door, they had already removed the door. Like, they did. Oh, really? It. Yeah. If you, they, they have it, like, leaned on a wall. Right oh, there. okay. So they were replacing the door. It took them a while to replace everybody's windows. I can't find the video of the windows. Oh, right here. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, I couldn't like I, I couldn't talk about this situation, especially being out there. I didn't feel comfortable even speaking on it. Sounds like a semi-auto. I mean, it's Georgia. Motherfuckers be at the corner store with. AKs around their chest and shit. Yep, you're in the sticks, especially. Yeah. When I was moving back to New York, my brother was helping me move back, and we stopped at the McDonald's. And there were just people just there with their guns, because you have to, um, you have to show your gun. Like you can't have it put away. It's illegal to have it like hidden. So there's just people at the McDonald's Bro, with like the guns out the shit. and yeah. the extra clips. So all those windows were shot out. Damn. That's actually fucking wild. Holy shit, man. It would have spun on you. That's another thing. I, I gained, like, I had paranoia, like, if people were coming after me, like... And everybody's like, that wasn't even for you, but it's like, you know it's not for you, but because of the trauma, like, you can't think straight. Right, like, what if, what if, uh, what if they find out you were talking about it or some shit? I don't know. Right? Like, so what happens to the couple downstairs? Oh, yeah, so apparently they weren't home, thank God, and... They got home 
oh, it no, happened I'm, in georgia I'm, I'm sure the guy wasn't home his girlfriend was home the guy wasn't home and his girlfriend But she moved home. back to... And I don't know how the fuck she survived I think she that. moved back to Brooklyn. Because were all through their living room again. Because she's from Brooklyn Went originally. All, all in the kitchen. The bathroom... Fr I mean, the kitchen fridge had bullets on it. Like, bullets were riddled throughout that whole apartment. So I don't know how the fuck she survived that shit. But the girlfriend... The girlfriend was perfectly fine. Not a scratch on her. And... Mm. The guy came home and then the next day... um. I heard like he went to stay at his mother's house or some shit like that. And I ended up seeing the girlfriend at the mailbox one day and she was like, just talking to herself like, time, I, I, everything I did was for time. That's what she was telling herself. Everything I did was to save time, it was for time. And that's, that's all I had left. And I'm just like, damn, she's going through some shit. Cause if it affected me like that, it happened, imagine like them. The people that, uh, yeah, that it was supposed to be for. Yeah. Was it like, you think it was gang related or you think it was just like? I'm assuming it's money. It's oh, money. money. Something with money, yeah. Oh, that's just crazy, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. But uh, do, do you think like, um, do, did you want to be bad? Did you want to, uh, like I'm trying to think of like a good that came out of it. Like, did you, are you glad that you're back in like where you live now? Um, not in my living situation exactly, but okay. I'm I'm happy to be back in New York. Yeah, it was it felt like a relief to be back. Right, like I'm trying to think of like a good thing that could have potentially came out of it, but yeah, I don't know. Um, not too many. I I genuinely feel like everything happens for a reason. Like, right. Genuinely, like I moved to Georgia for calm and peace. I was out there for two years, two and a half years, and. That happens like so quick. I yeah. feel like two, even two years is not a long time. So I spent so much money to move a two bedroom out there for no reason, just to come right back home in two years, you know? Mm. So that's just why know. you don't leave the Northeast. True. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, I Georgia, they don't got no fucking gun reason. laws and shit, right? Like, you can basically yeah. get whatever you want out there, I think. Yeah, you don't even need a license to buy a gun anymore. Yeah. So I just walk in and buy one and like a month before that happened, this is so depressing. I'm sorry. A month before that happened, my, my puppy that I have for 12 years, like passed away. So I was like dealing with that. Then the shooting happened. I caught COVID. I was sick for like a month. Bro, your whole life is falling All apart. All that happened <laughs> like back to back to back, but I was still good. Like I was still streaming every day. I was yeah. getting through it. And then. Mm. Even though the internet is good, like the internet made it like way harder for me. Cause you know XQC watched that clip. So then Did people he? were coming, yeah, uh... watching on the stream. So uh, it was just a lot of fucking traffic. Yeah, I feel and that. Most of it was negative. Yeah, that's the internet, man. Yeah. That is the internet to my brethren. That's how it yeah, goes. See, you had to post a fucking video on uh, Twitter earlier. Oh right? my god, yeah, yeah. I was actually just about about to show my chat what uh people one peg said. Talking shit, Curtis. Listen, the only shit people better be talking about is how goddamn good you look. <laughs> fucking hell, boy. Mm. People talking shit, Curtis. Yeah, that's my boy right Listen. there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's actually funny. Uh, hyping me up. What a fucking, what a, what a lad, bro. What a fucking lad. Um, all right. Well, goddamn that, that is a sucky situation. Um, yeah, but I'm good now. I'm good. Now. I, I am glad that you're good now. <laughs> and I think like you said, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, just continue to live your life and do what you're doing and everything will be fucking Gucci. You know what I mean? True. let's move on let's like let's let's go on to like some some nicer shit i feel like we just went into like a dark hole I and know. i don't want to be there anymore <laughs> you know what i mean like i feel like we went to a dark fucking hole and like i, I we need to climb the fuck out of it i did shrooms for the first time in 15 years the other day there you go you did shroom okay yeah all right so you're a drug addict that's cool what? um no, i'm just kidding <laughs> so you you trying to hop in Zo? Um, listen, hold up. Somebody asked me a question 
and let's see if we can help this person out man um what do you do when you feel what do you do when you feel like a girl have, has been leading you on for months and whenever you try to make a move any advances you get shot down even though it's clear what she is doing and all the people around you see it too how do you deal with this kind of situation walk away from the situation i mean yeah uh, yeah personally for got, me i agree if it's multiple people that you can trust is telling you yo you're being let on and you really feel that you're being let on like yeah just just walk away from that situation entirely like yeah i think one of the, the struggles is like uh, maybe this person doesn't think that they could find somebody else, right? Because he might be a young person, right? He might be a young kid or something like that. He might think that he can't yeah. find somebody else. He, so he, he doesn't want to move on yet. He, he wants to, he wants to continue it to see where it could go to try. Like maybe one day, you know, she'll, she'll fuck with me like that. But I think the fact of the matter is you do just need to move on from that. Yeah, like that, that's, that's not a situation. Yeah. Your own self for mm -hmm. one person for uh, a maybe. If that, like, it's no, not a situation you want to keep yourself into, you know what I mean? From a girl perspective, how do you feel about this? It honestly, it genuinely, it sounds like she's either using you for something and, or she just, she, she, it could be that, or she might like you, but she's not really fully interested in you. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Like, you probably make her feel good as far as like having fun, but she's not into you to where she wants to meet up and make it. Go any further. I feel that. You know, you know, my girlfriend told me that once, and 14 years later, we're still together. I should have got the "you're not my type" at all. It, that happened. You said you that weren't happened. her type. Or? No, she 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 at told all. me to this day that I'm not her type. Like just like my I mean, style and shit and all that, but I, it's I hard. Yeah, together. your style. Yeah, it's hard for me to believe that you're anybody's type, right? I'm gonna be honest. I that's what I'm saying, right? But you know, I'm happy. <laughs> hey, hey, Ray, you're happy, I, I, and I'm single. So I mean, <laughs> who's who's winning? You know what I mean? Yeah, Ladies, true. open up your minds because I just learned that the guys who are not your type are actually your type, and might even be your soulmate. I just mm. learned this. Yeah. You just learned it. Yeah, because I started opening my mind, and there was someone who I I felt like wasn't my type. And I started talking to that person, like I fell in love with that person. So you just Damn. Uh, That's actually funny. Mateo told us the same story about his love for Zola. That's actually crazy. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Yo, so see this? Hey, ladies. When I hit you up, bro, fucking answer. You know what I'm saying? You never know. I might fucking make you laugh or something. Stop. Hey, stop <laughs> donor walling me, bro. I'm keep it a buck. Girls don't realize that until like later, later on, you know. <sighs> Trying to say I'm old. Ah, damn, man. No, I'm not saying. Just go to hell. What reality. the fuck? Yeah, no. <laughs> nah, Excuse me. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Have any of you ever dated a woman that wasn't your type? Yeah, when I was in the navy. Uh. I don't dated? know. So, dated? Or liked? Uh, met and then thought you didn't like that person, and then you started liking them. I was a girl that wasn't my type, but I like. I started liking her. I didn't want to like her, but she was just mad cool. Like she was just. I'll, I'll mute soon. Was just what you finishing up, shit, Angel? You know, like what? Are you, what are you even they fucking do doing, bro? Wait, why don't you want to like her if you don't mind me asking? Fuck, are you even doing? She wasn't my type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. Like not your type? Like like what are we talking about? She like not. She doesn't. Yeah, here not my type from a guy is like crazy to me. So, okay, for you, what was it? What didn't make him your type? Was he not like uh, attractive enough, like to your standards, or like was it like is that what we're talking about here? Like when I like it'd be like the swag, like. Oh, like, so his fits weren't on point. Like and not just he, that, like he mad goofy. The way he carries himself, exactly like the way he carries himself. Like I wouldn't think uh, that. Because usually I'm more for the quiet type. That's like chill, and yeah, I didn't think that this loud, like obnoxious, kind of goofy obnoxious. Guy, yeah, obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you never know.
And now I've realized that most of the guys that I think are my type and then I become cool with them, I'm like, damn, like, I would, I would date him, you know? Well, so, that's good. Yeah. Well, there you go. You know what I mean? You, you're finding, is this on the internet too? Finding love um, on the internet? Or was this somebody, local, like, person you know? Actually, yeah, this was on some internet shit, yeah. Mm. Yeah. On some internet shit. Do you think you could find yeah, love well, on the internet? Know. That's a good question. Absolutely. Okay, can we can we dive into this a little bit? Like, like yeah. how? Like who is it? A mod? Is it like how did you? This guy said a mod. <laughs> I don't <laughs> fucking know. Like, is it a viewer? Like, what? Like, what are we talking here? I would never date anybody in my community. Okay. You fucking heard me, chat. Okay. Here, here goes Curtis on me on the following. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> guys, I'm I'm trying to Curtis, get unfollow. Unfollow. I asked Gary the same I shit. Got stream up in oh the second. You said that you automatically grabbed your oh mouse my. and was concentrating, bro. Curtis, don't even be here. Bro, I'm trying to help people. Go ahead, talk, man. Don't fucking. <laughs> let, I'm I'm literally He's booting so this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, this t so so okay so did you even answer my questions because i was too busy listening to this fucking big mouth <laughs> yeah so um the guy on the internet yeah yeah it was someone i met gaming okay so it was somebody you met in game oh so we just had one of these where garrett oh no mm -hmm. garrett yeah. messaged her on instagram but then he then met her, her yeah he met her in game okay Okay. All right. So, Ooh, which game were you guys playing? What's up? Valorant. <laughs> Why you got me exposing myself? Wait, like? wait, wait! Th and you're not exposing yourself. We literally, bro. Garrett literally bro, exposed I'm himself about how he. Tomorrow. Why? 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 This is. I'm exposing myself. No, no, no. So wait, you with Doom or something right now? No, 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 no. This is. This is wait, I thought you were dating this person. No, no, we it didn't work out. It didn't work Story changed. Wait, cool. it didn't we work cool, out. But... What the yeah. fuck, bless? I thought y'all were in. No, the point of the story was that I didn't think that I would find them attractive in the, to the point where I would date them, but then I ended uh, up liking them and oh, started so you, kind of you talking. Was, you was like playing games and shit, and then you just like <laughs> he carried you in Valorant, and he was like, "Yo, this is the dude no, right here." No, it wasn't the carry. Like we played other games too. <laughs> so he got you to Immortal, and you left him. Like <laughs> what the fuck? It sounds like. Yeah. Oh, just didn't work out. Fuck? <laughs> you gotta tell okay. I thought, yeah, I thought you were just fucking meowing and barking and shit, and now I'm trolling. I don't fucking. Okay, I recently just started meowing and barking yesterday. I don't fucking meow. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? That was a plot twist for me. I'm gonna Dang. be honest. I thought she was in a healthy relationship. From what what I heard, no, that's why I see, she she gave me hope. She gave me hope. Yeah, she was like, I thought yeah, I was about I to meet the dude. next one in Valorant, bro. I was about to switch games. Like I'm not playing GTA oh, anymore. <laughs> My point is generalized though. Like this could be someone you meet in person though. Just I, mean, I don't meet girls in person because you. Oh, that's true. They don't. They don't t come up to me. <laughs> no, but that has get on Valorant like. Everything here will find crazy. a wife on Valorant. Seriously. I swear to God, like, you that's will. The new day, that's the new match app. Like, bro, correct. every time I'm Boy, on Twitter, bro. That's a good question for you, right? What? For the boys, for the boys, to be fair. How do y'all feel about dating a gaming girl? A gamer girl? Like, that would be amazing. Uh, no, the guys, the guys, the guys, the guys. Curtis, especially. Bro, like to... I'm going to keep it 100% <laughs> with you. I've been seeing these Valorant girls, man, and I'm. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you who. No, they look lust, good, bro. Not your lust, bro. Not your lust, bro. Okay? It's lust for sure for me yeah. right now. I'm gonna be honest. I'm it could be. It could bad. turn into love. You never know. Like, like Bless said, you never know, bro. I, I might only want the lust, but then it turns into love. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Isn't that Listen. how it starts? Oh, oh, this is a good question. So I feel like, um, I feel like, wait, nobody else answered. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Would you, what about you, Mateo? Mateo's just smiling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would trust it, you know? You wouldn't trust a gamer girl. 
Well, okay, wait. What are we talking about? Like, we gotta be more specific. Like, bait, like not lust, like. Would you? That's what I'm yeah. Not would you bang, date bang. a girl that? Wait, is this like a serious. girl we met in real life and then found out they're a gamer girl? Is that no, just, bro? It's a, it's a fucking. Girl, bro. You met her online, bro. Like, you were, you were scrolling like through Twitter. You were scrolling scrolling through Twitter, bro. You see a fucking hot Valorant girl. And you DM her like, yo, let's play some Valorant sometime. I can't carry you because I'm dog shit, but I mean, we can play. Mattel try to be PC. That's why. He always does this shit. PC? No, I just, I got to be specific because you guys are being too broad. Okay, what a bull, did about we, different shit. was that a good specific, specific enough for you? A specific. I got to rethink it now. What the fuck you got to think about? Just. Well, okay, what, what about you, Ray? Like, yeah, what? I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see why. Yeah, right. I don't see I why. I thought you were right. talking about just like talking to a girl you met on a video game. What? Like, like how? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that can happen too. Yeah, yeah. That that way as girl. well. Like, if you met somebody on, like, let's say you were in the same lobby as her, right? And like, she fucked with your voice, so she's like, "That's wild." <laughs> Steve, you gotta be a horn yeah. dog to even like, like get to yo, the point for where me, you start talking. Yeah, like for me, I gotta see like. First, bro. I gotta see like visuals or like she has to oh have like a webcam. God. You know what I'm saying? A, a face cam. And then it's like, oh, I would, fuck, I still I'll be even, like, push it until, like, it's like an event. Like, say you, say you, you uh, know, like TwitchCon and stuff. Uh, it's, like, me and people. people I don't see what's uh, any different, different from. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Um, it's, it, it's not really that weird, bro. It'd be a long build up for any kind of. You can't, you can't just get caught up in these looks because there's filters, there's a lot of shit, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Well, it's not even that. You also just don't know the fucking person. You don't want to get yourself in a situation that's gonna financially or mentally ruin you. You know? Oh my god, I there's mean, so yeah. many catfishes, bro. Bro, oh, sorry, it's go ahead. crazy. I mean, if you guys are talking and spending time together playing games, right? Eventually, y'all gonna end up on Facetime and mm. meeting mm. up, and you know, it's not solely in game. Yeah, it's a lot of work, though. What's the difference IRL dating? You have to meet up with that person. I, I no, I'm saying and... IRL. Okay, well, them, if they're far, far away though, that's the only thing, right? With the internet, is that they might be far away. You know. Are you saying like a relationship that's exist? strictly nah, bro, bro. Starts online? far, far enough? Bro. Honestly, I want a long distance relationship. You want you want I, one? I yeah. feel like long distance relationship work out the best. To be fair, facts. That's how I feel too. Wait, what? <laughs> Cause them shit, that, yo, sh that, what like, the they fuck are you talking about? Bro, I they am not. Every day, I had a long distance relationship. That shit was cool. I don't even like to fly. No, I'm scared I'll to fly, bro. You think I'm just join this right now and tell you how that long distance doesn't work out? We I don't know about <laughs> that, bro. Every every experience is different, right? Like, like, I prefer that just to be. I'm trying shit right now. But it's preference, right? He said, he said you like the long distance Bro, this dude wants a long distance relationship just face. so he doesn't have to deal with her. Like, yeah. that's fucking <laughs> crazy. Turn off my phone. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Zola, you think I don't know your fucking game, bitch? Like, yeah, turn off my phone. That's the end of that. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, that's actually True. crazy. He's like, yeah, I'm about to, <laughs> about to do what I got to do. <laughs> I'm going to hop on my plane that ever had to deal with her again. Like, this dude is wild. No, 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 no. Because uh, when you actually, like, see each other, it, like, it, you, you, the heart grows fonder, right? It's like, yo, you, you spend time on the phone. You spend time this, then it's like, oh man, like I, I just fucked myself so hard, my leg is numb. And then it's like, yo, it's good cool, shit, you know bro. What nah, professional. What are your, what are your hey, love languages? Though? That's off to you, my friend. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but I'm just saying, like I've been in one and it was dope. I like uh, it. Uh, you don't know what your love languages are. Nah. Toxic. You want me to read <laughs> them out to you? And you can True. That's crazy. Angel taking um, talking shit again. That's crazy. Uh, she was deafened until you started talking. I know. Yeah, she had to chime in on that one. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not toxic. I'm just like, yo, bro. I'm. Just I feel like, like a lot of internet people I have long shit distance that relationships. Most people won't really say. I've fair, never had one before. It, but won't say like, because I've never dated somebody from long distance like, the relationships internet. are difficult, right? But I feel like the honeymoon stage lasts longer. I feel like it's important to miss that person. You have no choice but to give each other space. 
the thing is trust like you have to really build that trust and it's not you have to also keep in mind that it's not always going to work out it's not going to be smooth i might end up breaking up for two months three months and getting back together but and in that time you'll be fucking end, other people right nah she fucking other people, people. we ain't we ain't getting back together that's fucked up and honesty like if if you're dating somebody long distance you have to from the get also keep in mind like this person might meet someone or i might meet someone like you just never know Start what's going to happen. Start cheating on so a bitch if I don't see her for like, a week. Meet someone like someone is Bro, no shy, just said Fuck that. Or y'all going to chill. <laughs> like if you end up liking that person, keep it real with me and tell me. Like y'all have to have all this like set up from the get and come to an understanding. Oh, fuck. But Since here was good, go baby. Long distance relationships thinking is like everything is going to be smooth. I'm going to be faithful. You're going to be faithful. We love each other. And not think that nothing is going to go wrong and that's where people fuck up like you have to be prepared for everything and anything to happen well that's in any relationship to be fair yeah and, yeah. and, and i mean uh, bro like you don't have to see each other every day even if you live close to each other like just ha well, I'm have saying, some yeah, boundaries that's each other. there's a lot of days where i say i wish i could go a week without seeing my girl just to cut <laughs> what <laughs> I, it's the opposite for me like if i'm in a relationship and my man is right there like i want to be over there every fucking day until i see I that's decide, unhealthy right, bro that's crazy yes that's the thing that's why that's like unhealthy. long distance that's why like long distance bro because that should be but the willpower be, yeah, yeah but you guys willpower man all right well i can't even cap i mean i never nah, had willpower for that yo, shit either but <laughs> nah, like if you but if i'm you, trying if now if you if you were your shorty she gonna want to be with you every day right but then if you tell her like Yo, that's why you guys need other things though right like other hobbies other if things tell, if you tell her yo chill let me do like what about sugar upset, mamas so that's why i feel like y'all like not I as don't, close i don't believe that they do all bro, of those things is there sugar Without mamas coming across as like because i i like i, I don't know i, can't I need a sugar mama day, Who, who's gonna mind. be my sugar mama all right i got a good question yeah i feel Would like they only go for a 19 year old other that's knows about like you know what you do online and stuff like that or would you rather have someone who's completely disconnected from it doesn't know what anybody talks about like nothing about gta or nothing um, Wait. like what you mean like like she doesn't give a fuck about like you you'd like she, being a streamer or something and yeah she just doesn't like you know you don't you just don't really talk about it so she doesn't know the you know or he Whoever's answering doesn't know like the whole GTA aspect or nothing like that. I think you... it's I think it's still nice to try to explain it to your partner what you do so they have an understanding. You don't have to like every single time like talk about it, but you know, still have invite that person in because that is your daily thing to do. So you would want your partner to have an understanding of that so they don't feel some type of way about like kind of out of like the loop of what you do, like what your job is, what it considers. So like I would love to like have my person like understand it but not necessarily be a part of it where they're kind of just like you know on my shit you know what i'm saying yeah I'm yeah good. yeah i get that yeah that's a that's actually a good explanation i wouldn't mind either or but i would prefer like dating a guy who's doing the same thing i'm doing mm. really yeah, some people don't understand the 24 hour streams or the 10 hour streams. Like, some people don't get that. And they're like, you just don't want to spend time with me. And it's like, no, I'm, I'm just streaming. I got caught up. Or I'm. I don't know. I wouldn't date a streamer personally. That's just me. Really? That's yeah, fair. like we discussed that, right? Didn't we discuss that last week? I think we did. Wait, yeah. did we? Did you say I, you wouldn't, like, though? I don't remember that. I wouldn't date a streamer. I don't remember that either. They just stream as community people are just in your business like constantly and they feel like they're entitled yeah, to every duck or every move. I'm, I'm saying like so like even like not even to say a streamer because it's just tight but like say a YouTuber either, right? Because it's like if you're like like if you're broadcast it depends, right? I know that's why annoying people, bro. Couple, the, the the thing was And that's kinda like, like fine. But if you're like broadcast and packaged as a couple, like yo, so and so's dating so and so, like your breakup will be broadcast too. Right. right? Like, you gotta you keep it YouTube, low key. Yeah, but like you know, you, some of these people are together, yeah, but you kind of like this thing, actually. Like they're friends. You don't really know they don't broadcast themselves as a couple, but like I think 
think about that like you go through a breakup and then you gotta deal with like everybody in your breakup non-stop type shit no nah, that's a fact i i get that i get that but i feel like that could happen i wrote to everybody in your business and like no nah, nah, not really you know, not really fight, they're always fighting they're toxic and like well it, the, uh, people talking either way but I'm, I'm a you can keep your relationship <laughs> under wraps though if you're dating a streamer like you don't need to you don't need to publicize it yeah if it's yeah, not publicized true. then yeah but bro like i don't know i'm a very private person like when it comes to like certain shit like i'm just like mad private so i don't i don't why think you, i why would you keep sending me dick pics now that's different though you the homie like you know oh so, all right, but, but. Um, <laughs> but, that's who was sending them. But, but, <laughs> why did he just go along? That was <laughs> he's like, no, but you don't. Yeah. I know no, you're no. not lying either because Curtis is turning like a strawberry on his stream right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, just it's uh, Angel, stop like, fucking looking at me, bro. It's just, it's just, I think it's just, uh, and then you don't know, also, you don't know, like, like, look at, like, uh, I don't even want to say names because that's I'm not trying to bring up names, but no, like, I need to get tan so no, I can't so like, I don't turn red like, anymore, man. Stuff I like fucking... uh, like the XQC situation, Being Irish, you know what I'm man. saying? Like he has to deal with that and all of those kind of elements and stuff like that. And likewise, on the other side, I think it's just like say you didn't know e they were dating, it wouldn't be in such a splat. You know what I'm saying? So i just rather avoid it type shit and then you gotta like oh and then what if you guys break up you gotta see her in your sp same space too like nah bro i'm good whoa not necessarily you can just what if you're both valorant number one pros yeah like, don't you know don't saying? not same game then bro <laughs> try not to be the same game yeah, maybe you, you, gotta, you gotta play like yeah um, you got a point there i feel it's like kind of shit where you what is it work or whatever yeah bro like you know the shit be like you know shit go bitter quick so like hey. but also like if 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 you a streamer right and you get in a relationship with someone who's not a streamer people are still gonna be in your business and try to find out who that person is how now they how I she's mean, saying if you're like a public figure like if you're you're like a yeah, you know a bigger same. streamer I you know they you, might try to find you, you yeah but if you choose to keep it private it's just gonna be private Look how much like actors and big uh, uh, music artists got girls, and you won't even know unless you're behind the scenes and stuff. Yeah, true, Hetty. Yeah, that's true. And then you won't know the motive, right? Like, say you're like, say you're a big streamer, I'm a big streamer, and then we break up. And then you're like, oh my gosh, we broke up. Oh, nah, they're not motive. Like, Yo, is she using this for like clout now? Like, it's just you. you even though you might not be, it's like those things come into mind because you're like, well, what is the motive behind this? Like, why is she talking about me on stream all the time? Like, da 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 da. Or why is he talking about me on stream all the time? Why did he say this? Why did she? You know what I mean? Bro, dying yeah, back. Yeah, it 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 also depends on how you end the relationship dimes. too. Like, a person is allowed to talk about their experience of like what happened in that breakup, but not shitting on that person or your like ex or significant but, other to give them that ammunition to like make assumptions to like pick sides. Angel, you you talking from like a mature stance, which you know that it rarely happens. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, no. Well, exactly. I mean, if the if the relationship wasn't like toxic and stuff like that, then that shouldn't be really a big issue. No, nah, I'm not saying toxic. Like, it doesn't need to be toxic. It just say you guys don't get a... Curtis. Say you're with a girl, you don't, you guys just don't work out no more, but you still love this chick. Like you still love mm. her. You, you know what I mean. But now you're seeing her in the same space as you, or likewise. It's right. Just, it's like it's hanging just, out in the same friend groups, like dating somebody it, within the yeah. same friend group, and like, then you see it, them out whenever you chill with those mean friends. It's toxic. It's just like damn. Like it just. It, you don't want to be just, reminded of the, you know, relationship. I've ever dated dude in the same group as me. That's just hella awkward. I'm I've tried you. that many times. I just can't do that. Yeah, that that's what's cool. His wife is now streaming. Y'all feel awkward. Everybody else feels awkward. People are like, okay, people don't want to invite you to places because yes. that person's coming. Right, like, right. Now you're like, oh shit. Like, say you're playing a game night, and now Curtis was dating this chick, but me and Mateo and X Y Z knows this chick, and we play game night. 
Curtis would be like, oh, so they leaving me out of game night now? Oh, we didn't want to invite yeah. Curtis. Bro, it what just, the fuck? Invite me to game night. We leave this <laughs> Yeah, why are you giving Man, I'm just up, saying, Vice, I'm not going to make it awkward, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or or Curtis got a new shorty now. He wants to invite a game I'm bringing her. His ex, his ex is there. <laughs> Yo, you're telling me that shit's not going to riff? That's just friction. Like, that's just common sense. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing her, bro. I'm recording it. Uh, it's, again, it's yeah. personal, personal preference, right? Like, yeah, people do it all the time. I just personally wouldn't. Do people do it all the time? People date all the time in this space, bro. Like, like, like homegirl said. I dated a viewer. A viewer? That's interesting. Nah, that's crazy. He was my recent ex for two years. I do for not two recommend years. it. Two years. Yeah. So he was like one of my favorite exes, I'll be honest, than any other person, honestly. He was so your favorite you... and it didn't yeah, go well? Was... Holy shit. Then what was the I other mean, ones like? The, he wasn't toxic or anything. I just, he was really bad at communicating for sure. Um, and he had happened to it twice. So and like, he was I, a viewer? Yeah. He came, so basically, long story short, I think, I don't want to say two years ago, um, I got into a Fortnite lobby with some famous YouTuber named Pay Money Wealthy. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. So he raided me or something, and some of his people Why you like, do her kind like of that? Like, uh, uh, sticked over or whatever. So one of them, I used uh, a few of them I used to play games with, Bruh. and one of them sticked out the most, and we kind of started hanging out more. And then I think I went through something in real life that was really uh, like really terrible, and I really wasn't talking to anyone. And but I remember he was always like hitting me up, like I hope you're okay, like I hope your situation is better. We're talking more like better and like he was the only person that was really there for me so over time like he didn't really live far from me he lived like in san francisco and um he like drove two hours just to even like see me um and so that we kind of kicked it off and then uh, from there we were together for like two years damn yeah and you said you left him because he wasn't good at communication like what do you mean by that so like after i want to say after his dad passed away he was very like he was just really bad at communicating like he just would not hit me up he would like i had to like because he was like oh, reach so out he to was him. going through some shit and you left him that's no 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 oh so his dad no, died no, and you no, dipped no, out no, all right no, no. <laughs> so brooklyn is really me. angel no, that is not okay not, he's always had a communication issue but it got way worse because it says like I was trying to be there for him, but he was not like receiving. He wasn't letting me be there for him. So at, at times we were like going back and forth and arguing with each other. And then yeah, it was hard I for you. I get it. I get it. Okay, well, don't make it seem like that because I'm that's why I left. Nah, we were, we're not, fucking around. He, Chad, she didn't. She didn't um, leave him like, because of that. He, He's not le he's not opening up to you. You're trying to be there for him. You realize he just needed the space. Yeah, because there was, was nothing else you yeah. could do. It, yeah, and then um, I think I want to say what sometime last year we, I we kind of spin the block on each other and try to give it another shot. Y'all and... shot each other. <laughs> wow, you we try the to block give it another go. We try to give it another go, and he did the same thing. It was not communicating, and Damn, man, you you you, you you verbalized this, correct? Yeah, I've like I've I've told him this many times. Uh, I'm All right, sorry, question, you guys. Okay, okay, so you, you go, you go. Oh, go, go, go. Oh no, I want, uh, let her go first, and then yeah, yeah. Um, this is a viewer that like he was a long time viewer, and then you guys started. Yeah, he was a long time viewer. Um, oh, viewer okay. after like three to four months, and then that's when we kind of started to get close. And then um, he drove like two hours just to see me. <laughs> you know, I gotta ask uh, this. You know, I gotta ask this. What? Is he still a viewer? No, he does not come around anymore. Let's see, this is why you don't date viewers. You gonna lose your viewer count. <laughs> you just lost a <laughs> fucking know, viewer, bro. bro. That's crazy. He was a fake community uh, member, uh, man. Lost a this, guy, this guy was That's a twenty. Crazy. This guy was a really? twenty-three Wait, sub member. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, no, I didn't date two viewers. Did I? Bro, I I what? I is this the yeah, only people outside. you get with? You go outside. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so wait, the viewers are your type? Like I didn't even. No, I mean, no, viewers are so like types. what I'm Yo, saying she's is like marketing the I'm, fuck I'm, out of her. Shit it's crazy. It's crazy because like give her subs right now. You never. Yo, know. it's crazy because like if, if a dude was saying this, this, I don't even know crazy. what my viewers even look like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what How did you even he like? Was a, he was like in my mutual circle, but How he was also like. Yo, they said, wait, what's her stream? No, 
you my man. Yo, y'all pull up. Angel, ah, Angel Nabs. Pull he up. He said, wait, what's her stream? Get in a Discord, that's her, that's her stream pictures, name, boys, you know right there. Angel Knives, who, chat. Who she like, who she don't like. You know he what fucks with viewers. Angel Knives, boys. She fucks with viewers. What the hell? Someone, in that room? Someone <laughs> said, I'm crossing that Brook line. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, imagine, imagine. They How many gifted? Are. Crazy. Yo, oh, Lunchy, thank you for the gifted. two months, bro. I appreciate that. Somebody in my chat just said, I know a streamer who used to average a thousand plus viewers, but when she revealed she was dating, she lost half her viewership. Oh, yeah, yeah. Subs. For sure. But I feel like, personally, I feel like it's how you set up your community. Like, yeah, the way you got I it. treat my community and they treat me as like an annoying older sister. On my way to the next me, like, viewer battle right I never now. Flirt with them. I cut them straight. Like, it's never going to happen. And. You if just keep you, them holding on just in case. Wait, what's yeah, your stream? Yeah. What's your stream? Angel, Angel is it Bless X? Like, is this come it on in. in here? Yeah, yeah, it's Bless X. Oh, let yeah, me see. Yeah. Let me see. What's up? <laughs> She's too scared uh, to put her cam on, but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wait, she got her cam on her stream. I know. I know. It, it's okay, though. Because I'm just Wait, with I, my children in here. You know? Wait, are you Puerto Rican? Yeah. Where you from? Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Zoho. Yo, so, 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 so. I'm, I'm saying where she from? Cause she, uh, you from Brooklyn? What part of Brooklyn are you from? East New York. Oh shit! I used to live in East Flatbush. Yeah, I'm not. Oh damn! I don't want to talk. You from the hood? You from the hood? The yeah, hood, hood. The hood, hood. Yeah. Shit. You from the hood? Man, hood. she more hood than you, Zolo. I, I went to Jamaicans at. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Me yeah, and my father used to live in, in Flatbush. So both both parents uh Puerto Rican? Yeah. Okay. Yo, Zo, get the social next, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just I'm, I ask questions. Nah, I nah, nah, nah. I know, I know, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, go ahead now. You said uh you were saying. Yeah, so I feel like if women are starting Bless their X's. community like by flirting and giving them like a lot of hope. Oh, like, you want the yeah, viewer dater? That's angel knives. My chat would probably be pissed, but I don't think they would like dip if I got in a relationship. I don't know. When you started talking to the dude from from Valorant, well, how do they feel? They'd be like, ill. Who wants blessed? Like they talk to me like that. <laughs> like, yeah, like an annoying older sister. It, no, oh, she's right though. It's, 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 like, it's kinda how you set set it up though. Like it, it's 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 all about like the energy. But also a lot of girls yeah, Angel's a fake Dude, New Yorker. Like, it, like you know, Bless is the real one. Like nice. you said, like I've heard a couple girls who said, "Oh, yeah, Angel's I'm in a from relationship," Cali. and they'll lose viewers because the viewer is like supporting her because they might get that chance in their mind. Not that she's giving them that chance in their mind. And then yeah, when she they say role they got a boyfriend, it's like, "Oh my gosh, all hopes lost." She's acting, guys. Come on. I, I've flirted with guys on Valorant and been like, "Damn, he's fine. Oh, that's sexy." It said, "Daddy." And oh. they be like, ew, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you be flirting like yeah. that. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy, bless. Yo, we, Zola, what did I tell you, bro? We got to so get on Valorant. The, you get the Valorant lobbies of the guys that bro, like, I, I you're, like don't flirtation. Give a Yo, I'm Sydney, you ain't in the right bro, lobbies, bro. You need a D rank. In general. Wait, wait, wait. So bless, wait. what rank are you? Valorant is very horny. Um, we don't have to we, talk about that. No, no, no. But Ranker, I'm, I'm trying to hook the. I'm trying to tell the, the people, podcast. you know. It's like I'm trying to tell you know? the people so they can get into the right lobbies with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm totally three. The way. Would you say Can silver? We, uh, huh? <laughs> you silver? I'm silver? I'm silver three. Yeah. Yo, so, hey boys, silver I'm three. Probably, you might need to D rank a little bit or buy an account. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Wait. What? So question question y'all all right so Fuck. so it's crazy that like like of like obviously like you know well curtis and mateo you know they're my boys like that's not even like a thought process to like flirt with a viewer like i that really? just came in my mind and then like it's just it's so it's so so intrig it's so different to hear it from y'all perspective like y'all Cause I guess your your viewers do kind of like y'all in 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 a different sense, right? Am I making sense? No, I guess you're saying. 
I think it's different yeah. for girls, man. I'm gonna be honest. The only people I feel like I meet are just catfishes or like dudes trying yeah. to act like girls or something. Oh my gosh, Carter, send me them pictures. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Whoa. What if some like fashion model was in your chat? Bro, oh, 100%, bro. If there was like a hot ass chick in my chat, that, that's not going to happen, though. Chicks so don't really be watching shit like that. Bro, I mean, yeah, I would, if there was a hot ass, well, I might not date her, but like, if there was a hot ass chicken chat, like, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> I mean, she, I, if, I'm talking shit saying like I would never date anybody in my community, but honestly, you never fucking know. Like, you just really never know. But I'm saying, how does Why that? Why must she be hot? Saying, like, you never know. Because I have standards, bro. I'm that, not like, like, like chat. Let me see what you look like. I'm not going to date somebody I don't like, think is attractive. Curtis, all right, Curtis, let me ask you. Wait, hold on, hold on. This question pisses me off. All right, it doesn't piss me off, but like, why must she be hot? Because I'm not going to go after somebody that I don't deem attractive. And is yeah, that exactly. is that bad of me? Like, like because people try to make me feel bad about this. No, no, no. Wow, Curtis, no, you only go after your looks. What's no, no, no. it pisses me off because people try to make me feel bad about it fucking liking somebody <laughs> because I find them attractive. Like, motherfucker, that's what usually starts it off. If mm -hmm. I find you attractive, I'm gonna fucking go talk to you or something like that. Like, I hate that shit, bro. I hate when people try to make me feel bad for liking somebody but because they're attractive. You don't need to feel bad. Like, I did get one guy. I did get one guy. Okay, fair enough. But still, so we, that question so pisses me off because there's been other times that people said that. Know? That's crazy. What's up? So people get mad because you're not you're attracted Bro, to who I, you're attracted to? I feel like that that has happened in my chat multiple times, yes. Where like <laughs> it seems like people are like uh, upset about that. Like, I don't know. Again, guys need to keep their mind open too because you might meet a woman that you think isn't attractive to what you think attractive is, and you might end up really liking their personality. Yep. No, no, I, I, I feel you on Sex that. Sex might be fucking amazing. Well, I've had that actually happen before, where like we were Yo. friends first, and she was like she wasn't somebody that I would normally typically, I guess, go for. Um, but once we, side, but saw, we were wow. just very, like, we connected very well. So like, she became more attractive because we, she had a good yes. personality. Yes. No. And, and, and yo, them really pretty shorties, if they got bad attitude, they, they look less attractive. You know what I'm saying? So like, it, it goes both ways. Like you could be mad cute, but then shit personality. Attitudes, yeah. Shit personality. Yeah. So you're just not gonna, I, I'm not just gonna. Go after you because it looks, but looks is the initial, is the initiation. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, oh, she looked good. Oh shit, what's up? Like, I want what's up? Well, how you doing? Like, that's how it's. You know, that's how. No, nah, I can get down with that. But normally, what attracts me first is like how somebody looks. Like, I, I don't uh, unless I know you. But that's the only reason that this uh, online, this girl I knew her is. first. <laughs> Yeah, and that's Online, what I mean. That's all it is. It's, like, it's, it's mostly just go yeah. go off of looks. But like this girl, I was friends with her before exactly. we ever did anything. So I got the chance, mm -hmm. right? Now, I normally it, it doesn't. It. And just like you, right? Bless, you had the chance to get to know this person because you played games with them all the time. Mm -hmm. And normally you wouldn't have done it. So it's the same thing. Mm, Carter's spitting right now. Nah, like, nah, saying, nah, I'm cooking up? right now. Let me cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Ready Let him cook. Um, but that's basically it. Like... So, yes, normally I say, like, yeah, if there's an attractive person, but, like, obviously there's different factors, there's more, there's different contexts, like, there's always going to be something different, but... So, basically, initially, what he's saying, chat, is he looks at the tits and then goes up slowly from there. More of an ass, man, but, I mean, a oh, nice okay. pair of titties is, you know I, what I mean? He have good. no tits to me. I just like, I just like an ass. Yeah, oh, we... That's so thoughtful of you, though. Huh? That's so thoughtful of you. Completely normal. <laughs> the fuck? No, 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 chat. <laughs> Listen, it's it's happened before. I, I had that. I had that. That was inside of me, bro. From 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 other times where like I feel like the society, like wants you to like you can't. Oh my god! It's not even you guys, and it's not even that one person. It's it's like the societal like norm, like like they they hate on people that I haven't really. Um, I've, I've never uh, go after people that they find attractive or something like that. Like, like I I've need never, to like, cater to everybody in the fucking world. I don't know. I've just, never hollered know. at a girl or I never even thought about hollering like, at a chick in in this space. To be fair, sorry, sorry. 
Yeah. I've you never, never went off. Wait, what did you say? I said, I've never thought about hollering at a chick in this space. Like, it's never crossed my mind. I've never, like, I've mm. never, like, got off stream and been like, Thank you, Yoshi. Oh, man, I want to holler at this girl. Like, it's never even, like, like when I'm outside, like, if I go out and I'm like, oh, this girl's pretty, I'm a holler. Like, I've, like, I've never got that in this yes, space. Yes, Bork. Like, like that type of stuff. Which everybody is attractive that's, to somebody, right? Weird. Like, somebody's going like to find you attractive. To, like, it doesn't mean that me, I need like, to find you attractive. I don't but know, somebody out there on, like, GTA, like, will, and, and I'm sure play, you guys so like, will make great family someday. I've never seen, like, uh, that sounds crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm ju I've just, I just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm a little too high to follow half the shit you're saying right now. I've just played GTA. Like, I don't take, like, what's in Raven, the game. Exactly. Like, I don't know if you know you it, Bless. I found the right one, man. Bless, I don't know if you know GTA RP, but like I've never like, yeah, I've never like. Have I ever had a broken heart before? Took that like. Is that what you're took asking? That out of game. Sky. Like, okay, like, can I be honest? <laughs> so I I role played, um, for like seven months when I first started, and is it really a I met a guy and that I was role playing with. And oh, honestly, okay. I'm like, damn, do I actually like this person? What the fuck? Oh, oh so shit. Your self-insert. No, 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 no. After, like, I had to really, after, like, we ended up becoming cool off the game. And then I realized, like, okay, no, no, no. It's the character for sure. Like, because when you are, when you've been emotionally abused like me, like, you, you, you kind of just fall into like damn this character is so sweet like the way they play in that character like you kind of want somebody like that IRL right so that's how Yo, you bless you need to come to uh no pixel I filled out an application and pull up I'll I... give you a chain <laughs> I'm joking 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 I don't even try man the queue would be so fucking crazy it's actually not that bad right now. Have I gotten emotional abuse? Yeah, Bro, yeah, I don't yeah. know what the fuck you're asking, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like, like you're just a troll. You have to truly... June 1st, account now, created like, June 1st. Now, since I'm role-playing again, now I understand, like, it's, this is just But people character. do find love. Curtis, who's the people that yeah, you say the other day that, like, found love in no pixel? You said Bass is girl, right? Or something yeah, like that? Yeah, Bass. They, they got um, married? Um... I don't know if they're married, but Bass, uh, fucking, I think, um, Kitty and Goofy, Goofy yeah, Buddha, Goofy. but that wasn't, that wasn't role play. That was, um, Coil. I don't know if that was role play, but, uh, in role, within role play, I think Kitty, I think, uh, maybe Ziggy, Penta, um, mm -hmm. oh, oh Penta was it? Too? All yeah. those were role play? Oh, really? Okay. Um, so it can it can happen, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't really fuck with the whole. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm not really into the relationship shit. Cause I I don't I think I wouldn't want to find. I mean, I guess if you find love that way, you find love. I I, I I'm not gonna hate on that. Actually, if that's how they you know find their significant yeah, I, other, I, I mean, I, I more power like to if, them. You know, if if your character is like spending. Like there's some people who will spend 10, 12 hours a day with each other nonstop, right? Yeah. So it's like y y your character, but then it's it's still like you're spending this time with this person. And you're doing it every day. You're going right. to. I think it's just natural. They're right? probably I getting guess. off and just hitting each other up like in Discord, honestly. Yeah. And talking in there, right? I'm positive that's how it happens. Like, like you like that scene, ma? Uh, cool, no, cool. Exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> you cool? You was cool with that, right? I, right, I. Right. I'm dead. But that I feel like that's how like yeah, like me and me and Zo been doing it. Me and pretty much me and Penny. Day, you know? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it wasn't like that. For a are, are you years finally now? confessing oh. your love? True. We were homies. Yeah, we were talking about stuff. Oh, see, like no, about I, I'm, I'm like gonna keep it real. Like, look at Mateo. Like that's like that's but we're, like my bro. You know what I'm saying? Homies. And we like, yeah, we he's right. Like, but friendships is different to me. It's like how, like how close I am with Curtis, right? Like, it's mm. it's because we spend a lot of time together. We spend yeah. every day together. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, well, that's how, yeah, like that's how the boys develop their 
yeah, how close I, they are, I, you know? I appreciate it when it comes to like that type of shit, but I've just never thought about it like as in the other type of shit. I kind of just I don't know. I, I agree. Rain that. is awesome. She's, well, she's a cool chick. Uh, I've Very always true. enjoyed our all of our conversations. I don't like, personally enjoy OC it and stuff unless like that. it's like Mimi and like jokes instead of that cute shit. Like I can't. And like it. I would ask her for like advice yeah, and like, stuff. I'll like see, that's, yeah, she was that's just a good homie. Because you know? I'm the same way. Like I just be like, I like the content out of it. Be cool you know peoples. What? I mean? but I'm not gonna like fucking sit in a corner with you for ten hours like these guys do in their house. Like, I ain't doing that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not so doing no I... slash me takes pants yeah. off. <laughs> I want like a cra- I like the crazy relationships in the RP. Like yes, yeah, the funny up, shit. You right? see me with another girl. Like yeah, some I, shit I, I could put on TikTok. Playing that character right now, bro. I was shit, breaking see, my that's... boyfriend's car windows and his slashes. See, bless. Like, this is why you gotta so come funny. to no pixel. This one, I told <laughs> you. Nah, this is getting too real, bro. This is definitely what she did in New York. Funny as fuck. No, no, no. I never Yo, this is our real. She's, one, this one is definitely what she, this is definitely what she was doing in Brooklyn. No, she's she's Puerto Rican from Brooklyn. She's yeah, crazy, bro. I don't Come know. On, with me. You know what? I don't give a fuck. The statistics are true. She, she letting her real self out. You know, she had to tame it. You know, all these years. Now GTA, she can really be read as well. Accidentally, you know she, oh yeah. <laughs> Remember, it was uh Jerusalem. my homie, man. What was his name? Sam's. That's, that's the kind of shit I like, like the drama RP. That shit is so fucking funny. Bro, I love that shit. I think who does it really best that I enjoy watching is Carmela and Rami. They are so fucking funny together. Bro, they're yeah, hilarious. So yeah. I will, I will give respect to Curtis's relationship with Penny. That shit was fucking funny as hell. Yeah, then you got like the Curtis the level. Like, chat, chat sends me stuff of like Curtis and Penny. I'm like, yo, Kurt. I feel like Curtis is just this different person now. Curtis was like an animal. He was like off the chain. He was just like, yo, sit in the car. She's like, okay, daddy. She just opened, oh, yo, bro, when chat sent me that clip, I was like, can I watch this on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> ERP demon. <laughs> Unhinged. Oh, fuck. Imagine not like really watching RP and then seeing that clip. Like just a random. That's what I'm saying. That, and those are the TikToks that blow up. That's why, Curtis. I don't even know why that's not on your TikTok right now. I know. The or the one where I peed on her. Yeah, yeah. You, you that's know, that's why they they got rid of those. Yeah, because of you, right? Yeah. Uh, see, look at that. I got. They they hit me up. They're like, bro, <laughs> you can't be doing that. <laughs> I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> I won't happen again. <laughs> And then I got the 90 days with me and Hirona. And she was on her, fuck, what was that character? Behind a trash can. What, what happened? I, I, I slashed me, takes off pain. <laughs> and then I think she slashed me, sucks dick. <laughs> really? Oh, I, I think so, bro. That shit was on Reddit. And you know what happened? It was all the dudes that, like, I think were into her and shit that yeah, probably yeah, reported yeah. it, bro. All like all like the little parasocial guys were probably like, oh no, fuck that shit, man. That's my girl, t- bro. How dare you touch my? E- How dare e-character? you touch my e girl? And then hey, yeah, what? and then they fucking Spe- reported me. Speaking of erping and role play together, there is a server. I talked about this on my stream. Apparently, there is a server called. Yeah, she Russian wasn't streaming, Arper, so I guess she didn't get roulette, banned. Roulette RP. And mm-hmm. apparently it's these girls that run the server that's like you fuck a fan kind of thing experience. So they have these like naked like like uh characters running around just fucking each other, like erping, like like dead ass, like naked and full like sex position. Wait, where is this at? I just need it yeah, for what's it yeah, what's that called? Here's yeah? the thing that mind boggles like, I don't think they're running like checking if they're legal. If you get what I so it's like I I don't know. Oh, how never that mind, goes, never mind, never mind. No, I'm good. Like, um, I'm good. I hope you guys are verifying and webcamming uh, these fucking people because y'all just out here fucking fans. Okay. I know this. The, that's why I. Just, yeah, I they just need to shut that it. shit the fuck yeah. down. They need to shut that shit down. Absolutely. Uh. Okay. That's crazy. Um. So what have you guys talked about? Like, what have I missed? Have you talked about any GTA stuff, uh, Curtis? Or no? We talked uh, about some shit with Garrett. Uh, I don't remember everything. What the highlights were. Maybe Mateo remembers. We talked a little bit about how the, the chain gang group should move a little bit away from GTA RP. 
What did Garrett say? He, he agreed. I mean, he said he's the advocate for it. Yeah, Garrett's been wanting that for a while. <laughs> Do it. He, yeah, someone in my chat was saying it would be so hard to get K off said, GTA. He said the biggest problem between the group is the different age. Yeah. The, the age difference between like the youngest and what? Oldest. Curtis, this is a good question. It's a good question for you, my boy. All right. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> how do I uh, shape this question? Do you? Okay. Man, I want to have a free conversation right now, so. You want to text me at first or what like what is it? Okay, so do you think, right? You know, like we were discussing like people think the element of CG has changed, right? Uh but I noticed that it feels like that in game with like other gangs, right? But even though I see has nothing to change, but oh, see things has changed. Do you think people are using kind of using that energy in game? I guess to test. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we can. Would that mean that we're accusing people of something? No, no, not like that. I'm just saying, like it's just like everybody's saying, oh, CG's this, CG's that, but it's like. You think since certain people are not no I longer agree. within the that. okay, since oh, shit. I didn't mean to say that in Discord. I'm so sorry. Don't let so, it happen again. Sorry. All right. Sorry, bless no, you. Just, you know, go, just... go do your thing. Go do your thing. All right. Um, you think since some people aren't around in CG that they it's weak and that from a hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't Biggie, know. Biggie, that's funny. Why? What did he say? YouTube told me. YouTube <laughs> told me CG was lost. <laughs> Bro, I'm saying like, do you think like also like, like, like we we've like the 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 force of CG has kind of dialed back. Like, do you think it needs to get back to that aggressive? we don't give a fuck kind of ruthless i mean like i think we all know why we dial back though and, and it's a lot of reasons we can't even discuss because you'll be gone you know what i mean i think uh i don't know if it's targeted but i think you know we it's we just got to be careful man with what we do i see other motherfuckers just hop out the whip and start shooting i seen steve from vendetta just hop out and start murking motherfuckers the other day Okay, that wouldn't be us, cause we we probably not be on the server. Yeah, um, people 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 don't even understand that side of things. People, nah, all these motherfuckers running around doing whatever the fuck they want. Uh, they don't they don't understand. Uh, what well, what to be like fair, we're not, going through. Mm -hmm, it no seems. shade to them. They do. They're still following the rules and doing what's right. Yeah, well, I just think we're playing against a different set of rules. It seems like that sometimes. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Like, the, I don't do... I try... I, Bro, do you know how many times we hesitate now? Like, I never used to do that. But for some reason, now things have changed, right? And I, I always hesitate on, like, stuff well, that I normally wouldn't have. I'm going to keep it a buck, Curtis. This week shows exactly why we hesitate. Really? Truly. So you're saying you're not gonna be around for a week? Um I think I have to go check my cousins. I'm not sure. Mmm. Bruh. They, they wanted me to fly out, you know? That's crazy. That's crazy. I know exactly what it's about to, you, and it's crazy that he's getting I I I um Ray. Good night. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Um. Oh, so okay. Anyway, uh. Damn. What a vibe killer, bro. What? What killed the vibe? Wait, what happened?
Nothing, 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 nothing. We was talking about, like, should, should we, like, you know, CZ be more aggressive type shit, you know? Um... Yeah, uh, I think so. But I don't know if we can. Bro, Swizz, you don't even know, dog. Yo, can we get can we get Swizz in here, bro? Swizz always talks. You don't even fucking he know, never, brother. Never joins the convo. We can't we can't talk about it, bro. What do you, what do you want us to do? They, you don't, you're not allowed chat? to talk about it, bro. What, what, the, what the fuck you want me to say? <laughs> you don't want, I can't talk about it. Audio for a second. Like, why, uh, why are you hung, dog? Came back and... uh, uh, motherfucker, can we can't talk can about this shit, bro. He's not muted. He does this thing where he doesn't talk to us, but he'll talk to his shit. Oh, he's talking to his and, and and you know what's fucked up? It's like we can't talk about it, but it's it seems so <laughs> fucked up to that, why man. it happens. You know what I mean? Or like how it, like I don't know. It's crazy, bro. So like it can never get. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Um. Okay. All right, we gotta find a new to new topic. You know, we just be trolling. Yeah, we just trolling, chat. We just trolling, dog. Everything is Gucci. Yo, Zo. Um. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of some questions because I know like I'm really good with those. Chad, what are some questions you guys would like uh, for us to answer? Ah, <laughs> what's up, Kia? Um, what's the... Oh, this is a good question. This is what I wanted to ask, uh, Angel and, uh, Bless. Yo. Um, what's the... What's the worst breakup you've been through? And it doesn't have to be, like, this dramatic thing. It could just be like, bro, this shit broke my heart. I was crying for days, like... Like... Like what? What? What was it? What happened? Why? And was it your fault? Was it a guy's fault? Was it just some shit? Just just happened. You go first, Angel. Um, I think. Hmm. Trying to think which one was the not the worst, but that really just had my heart in a in a wrench. I guess at the time, because I wasn't really that mature thinking, and I was just kind of like, emo oh, I would say emotionally attached, because he was just someone there at the time. Um, he ended up being very toxic towards the end with his group of friends. 
Um, I can get to the government. And was being very off-putting when we came back from uh, TwitchCon. And I didn't understand why. And I think after... I don't like, know I'd the comment about the side in here with this. Like, initiate the conversation. Of, like, why he was acting so weird. And to know that he... You know, I, I pretty much said, like, maybe we should just break up at this point. And he started crying. Um, he was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to put you through that. Thought we ended on things like good terms. Turns out the motherfucker was racist as hell. And um, his group of individuals made a whole discord about me just saying out of pocket shit. And he was part of it. So um, that kind of hurt uh, because I thought that motherfucker was very genuine. And um, this was the th viewer. No, this wasn't the one I just told you about. That was what two years. It was someone totally different. Um, but um, yeah. Shit. So like, did you cry? Like, how did it hurt you? Like, oh yeah, it hurt. It really did. I think it hurt because it, not knowing, you know, the person you were dating at the time, you have to find out afterwards who they really are. That's the worst. Yeah. Worst breakup. Is. That's insane. Yeah, it was really bad. Worst breakups, bro. What the fuck? But she what found out that he was racist and he was talking hella shit about her. Like, what? Why the fuck were you dating to begin with? I don't understand. What the hell? How did that even happen? Because I didn't realize he was like that when we were together because that, he didn't show did, no Did he realize that. after he started dating you that he was racist? Like, what? <laughs> what no, no, no. How the so fuck y'all start talking? Oh, you said he's racist? I didn't hear yeah, that part. Yeah, like, I found out, like, after God, we broke that's up. Crazy. Keep in mind, he's, he was lie. Mexican. That's crazy. He was Mexican. So, like, <laughs> afterwards, I don't know. Oh, like, you know I, what? Like I said, we ended on good terms. I think I'll, uh, you know. And all of a sudden, I think he was like, around, up. like, his group of individuals that were very, like, uh, what do you call it? Trolls or just edge lords or whatever. And they made this whole discord about me, like, li like taking my pictures, calling me <laughs> A, B, and C out of a fucking race book, including him, actually, too. So it's just, like, I had to find that out through a, a mutual source and found out about the discord i'm just like went off like on him about it and so that kind of broke me when i i found yeah, that out because we, no, we had 100%. something together and then afterwards after i started being best friends with the girl i was at the time she was out here talking to my ex talking about oh you know we shouldn't gotta get matching hoodies together and all this kind of shit so i i, I had to deal with the like a, a, a best friend that was trying to get with my ex so it was it was really bad. Like that shit was just very fucking hurtful all to begin with. Like I I hated that whole thing because I, I I didn't want the relationship to begin with. But I find so let me just give the sucker a chance. The shit was a um, you live and you learn. Not only was he racist, but you know what it sounds like. It sounds like he was jealous of you too. Yeah, yeah, that's what it sound like. And <laughs> people do it's crazy because they nah, 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 some nah. people being jealous of the Swiss keeps sending me fucking with, dick pics, bro. Uh, this guy's yeah, fucking yeah, weird. Happens, so, yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yo, honestly, Angel, I'm sorry you have to go through that. Like, I don't think I've dated like someone that's racist. That's crazy. Well, I, I wouldn't know. know. I wouldn't know, yeah, but like I don't like okay. He like racist <laughs> as meaning like I've he was part of so yeah. This guy right. keeps saying, bro, it, it is nice right. though. Was, I mean, he, I fucking he was a appreciate part of, it. A, a group of his friends were egging it on kind of thing, so he was joining in on the. You need the motivation kind of for your uh, he's races, right? For your Valorant exactly. games, there's no joining in. He's he's one of them. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck that guy. Um, um fucking worst breakups. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Okay, so what well, you want to talk only about? Have booty one holes? Worse. You only have one worse. Do That's I want to talk about booty holes? Is that even a fucking yes? I want to. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, do you, Curtis? Do you lick? We booty can holes? talk about that. If it's a clean booty hole, I'm licking it. If you just got out the shower, fresh out the shower. Yo, it gotta it gotta be twenty minutes tops out the shower. You can't go past the twenty minute mark. Yeah, because then it starts sweating. There's a cab. There's a, there's Twenty a minutes cab, to start sweating. There's a cab after. <laughs> there's a cab after the booty hole. Uh, uh, I don't know. Zolo got the stopwatch. I think I guess he fucking recorded that. Hey, it's been an hour. It's been an hour. You gotta. Mateo, hey, it's been Mateo. an hour, sweetheart. You gotta go back in the shower. Mateo. You gotta go back in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go back in the shower. Hey, Curtis, another question. All right, no, 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 no. no what, what, what? 
Is it crazy? It's not crazy. It's not crazy. It's Cur- it's Curtis Entity, you know? Um, um Okay. <sighs> what? If a girl didn't smell to write two questions in a question, would you tell her? And would you well, I like or would you tell her like shower? Like without without shaming her like type shit, but um yeah that's actually happened my my girl's uh my ex's girl her like ph levels were unbalanced yes and uh <laughs> yeah i let her i was like yo uh what's going on <laughs> what's, <that> <laughs> <laughs> what's uh what's happening hey, here like what's going, what you, what's going on with yeah, it yeah like on? i mean i'm i'm <laughs> But yo, there's a difference between like I know I ain't cooked no dinner dinner. recently and something's going on here. You know what I mean? Like what's happening? That was the way you said that. When it gets a little (laughs) spicy and shit. (laughs) Like what's happening? What's happening? Mateo said he likes it a little spicy. He likes a little smell. Mateo, you said said that? that out loud? I don't recall saying that. <laughs> Mattel just said it. You, you said that on live. I didn't say that. You said oh it my god! Yo, skits. What's up, no, baby? I'm Thank you for like, four months, little, brother. I'm saying like a scenario. Like what appreciate that, that dude. That's, that's how you know it starts getting a little off balance. Girl, I lost my virginity. A spicy. Wait, the girl I lost my virginity <laughs> did not smell Wait, good, first, but the women know when their pH. I didn't know until I got more experience. Yo, you. Yeah, a lot of women say that, but a lot of women don't. I'm gonna keep it a buck. What? There's no a lot of women way, say right? that. Oh, they know when they because, but a lot of women don't know for some reason. Okay, so that we'll means that they usually used to s- themselves smelling Bro, like that's... that, and then that day was just worse. Like, yeah, I, th- I don't I know. Think, because... I think, I think, I think would like if she sleeps with like, like, like a different guy, she has a different smell to a di- like. It depends, right? Like, that's why, like, if she sleeps with like multiple guys, like another guy's shit could throw off her ph balance too right it's just a, there's a there's a lot of factors right but wait what this guy's trying to correlate her nah, getting saying, dick from other dudes nah, <laughs> to nah, her like pussy some, stick <laughs> so, so, sometimes it's that sometimes it's could be i know you was cheating bitch nah, nah, because so, your pussy sometimes... stink Sometimes that ain't my it, dick in you, dog. Nah, That's not my dick scent. Nah, 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 like, nah, what the nah, hell? Nah, that ain't my sometimes dick scent. I know my, I know bro, what my dick smells like. Bro, and that shit be, ain't it. It could be that. It could be like bacterial infections. It could be yeast infections. I know be, I, my goddamn dick smell it like. Could no, just be she not drinking enough water. Sure, don't smell like that. Could be a lot of shit, bro. Some of these girls don't drink water. They drink Hennessy all night. You know what I'm saying? Not on Hennessy dick. That if, a, if a shorty drinking Hennessy, he? if she drinking Hennessy all night, that shit ain't gonna smell right. That's all I'm saying. Wait, I just learned about this. Mm. Hold on, hold on. If you eat tart, wait, no, cherry, wait, no, pineapple. <laughs> hold up. If you eat some kind of fruit, is that true? This shit be it be sweater. I just yeah, learned about this. Your cum? Pineapple, did you do Greek, a taste test? Greek pineapple, yogurt. Bro. Um, uh, I haven't did the test cider. yet. Bro, eat a lot of Oh, so you know all about this. You be doing this, Angel? Absolutely. Oh, like daily? Absolutely. Bro, girls who eat a lot of fruits always smell better. Keo said he's he's tasted it. He's tasted it in the rainbow, the difference. Somebody in my chat just redeemed hydrate and said that's for your pH balance drink. What the fuck? Wait, what? To be honest, to be honest, like (laughs) pussy. It should be tasting like nothing. Like it should taste like clean. That's why I said if it yeah. ain't tasting like water. Who's in the like call? We got Mateo. We got Angel. We got Bless. We got it me like and Zozo. Do get like kind of musty, but like it's your cum should not have a scent. Cum? Yeah, like your uh, your juices should you not have smell, a you scent. You can smell. You can. Cum has like a scent. It's not like a smell. Yeah, it has a scent. It's not like a strong scent. Sorry, she's. Talking about her, the women come, Mattel, not not the guys come. Wait, women or guys? Oh, wait, which oh, one? We were talking about men. She's talking about men. She's talking right. about, no, I'm talking about no. women. Like talking about women, bro. Women. Not listening, man. <laughs> bro.
Wait, it, it's also works for for guys too if, if you eat uh, pineapples and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I've I've had. I was a swallower at some point, and I'm gonna be honest. Did not I can just tell that he was not. Mm -mm. It was disgusting. She said I was a swallower at some point. What does that mean? Like you stopped what, you, were, you, retired? you retired from I from I swallowing? I don't swallow anymore simply because of that reason. It was Damn. just. Like, I know you're doing something with your mouth right now too. Like you, you're like you had this disgusted sound that you're you're because making. I'm living through the trauma experience. I feel like I could taste it again. It's fucking disgusting. Well, that's what fucking happens uh, when you. you're fucking your viewers. Uh, it wasn't him. Damn, Fair yo, enough. they never gonna let this die, Angel. Fair enough. Fair enough, Brookline. If you want to taste your I own, mean. don't have women. Yeah, Swiss, you missed that part, huh, bro? That is crazy. You missed that part, huh, Dwok? <laughs> yeah, you missed that part, Dwok. What do we dick? think about that? Have I? Would you suck your own dick if you could? 100%, bro. I'm giving it a try. Yeah, why well, would... <laughs> bro. What? No, I don't wait for Big Kurt to talk. Why you have to talk, bro? Uh, oh, you wanted to see what he was saying before? Kurt's okay with it. Tail was kind of like on the edge. Soon as Curtis Damn. was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, bro, for sure. What, like, to finish? Like, come in my mouth, too? Or, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, bro. What <laughs> what the the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> bro, I'm throwing a tip in there, bro. I'm going to see what it is. I feel like that's a reasonable... You suck your dick till you finish your body. I don't know. Wild, I wasn't bro. thinking about that sometimes question. You sometimes you can't control it. So you you would finish on your face? <laughs> nah. Oh, nah. What's that's worse, stupid. finishing on your own face or in your mouth? Bro. Your mouth. Hold the fuck up, bro. What Ain't nobody fuck? was even What's talking it? about that. All we oh, said was like, <laughs> what the that's fuck? What's the best? Mateo, so man. So it said, yeah, Mateo definitely needs some anime for. Nah, nah, Mateo nah, is nah, definitely nah, gonna nah, say yes animation. before that. This guy's already been thinking about coming in his own mouth and shit. No, I was reading the chat that said, mm. "If you want to taste your own, don't have women put it in your mouths. Put it in their mouths." Is what somebody said. I just wanted to get y'all's <laughs> opinion on that. Okay. So well, you, okay. So well, how you've do you ever done a taste test, Kurt? Is that what you're saying? No, nah, I don't think so. You, oh, not that I rec not that I recall. I usually hear you kind of hesitate about about they taste their own. I don't think I have. I I I think I don't like. I know girls who do it. They do it all the time. I like when girls do it, but I don't. I don't know. What's I don't wrong with right? It's weird, bro. Tasting they come like that's crazy. <laughs> or like when she when she's done. You know, doing the thing, and then you go in for I a hit my face. <laughs> I hit myself oh, in the oh, face oh. once. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> he said, he said, he said, when you nod our mouth, and you go to our kiss right away. <laughs> kiss her? Out and there's a substance on your lips. Please. Like, oh. <laughs> bro, oh, I ain't even gonna. Yo, listen, guys. I ain't even gonna I, fucking I, lie, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't really like kiss after sex. I'm not gonna lie. What? I'm not even a kisser. I'm not even a kisser. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't mm. like that. Yeah, big kisser. I think that's hot. Like I think it's hot unless unless. Well, I do just, just come in your face. Yeah, it hurts. Fuck no, 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 for sure. You think that's hot, bless? Yeah, I think that's hot. Actually, I'm not saying. Wait, I'm did I nut in her mouth or no? Come in my mouth so he could kiss me. Like no, you know I'm gonna swallow and then him coming down and kiss me. Like that's that's hot. That's I'm like here, hold this water, baby. Hold this water. Wait, kissing oh. you full tongue or like? <laughs> That's what I want. No, this hey, yo, yo let me get that one. remnants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, Not I taste remnants. good. I yeah, even know <laughs> I even know this. I left me something. <laughs> yo, revenge. Yeah, I've had a girl that like went down on me, and then you know, know we were bro. fucking and we kissed. I, I think oh. I, I, to me, when I come, everything is done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we well, already ordered an Uber. Like, it's... nah, everything is done is crazy. Ain't nothing left. So you don't give aftercares though. 
Ain't nothing left, bro. Ain't nothing, you ain't like nothing left. You like dating that person? Yo. I was like, we'll cuddle. Like, yo, come here. But like, ain't nothing left. Like, we ain't going like about to bake out after. Like, ain't nothing left. Ain't nothing left. <laughs> Everything is gone out of me. Bro. Yeah, so you haven't found like truly good sex then, honestly. No, nah, like I'm saying like. I've, I've, you mean kissing I've, the kids goodnight? I've, 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 <laughs> I've, had, I've had good sex where I'm, I, I'm coming and I keep going uh like that but like i don't know oh, like if I'm, i know what you're talking I'm, about yeah like yo do you know guys can have orgasms did you guys know that bro wait what? what do you know guys can have orgasms yeah that's basically when you know without without ejaculating oh what? what is this guy? bro it's a real thing bro you gotta get it you gotta like train yourself like it's like <sighs> this guy talking about something <laughs> Some mental gotta... fucking orgasms, bro. That... <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, it's... He's it talking Googled about those it. dudes that get, get blindfolded and come and no, shit, bro. Oh no, my no, God, bro. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you this, bro. When you when you fucking, you about to come, oh, you stop. Go, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you don't be shooting blank. No, you gotta, you gotta do it. See, this is, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is a mature conversation, right? A lot of people, <laughs> it's a seizure, a lot, bro. A lot, a lot of people are not in tune with that. You know what I'm saying? But you start with just like, if you jerk it off, like... <laughs> you won't jerk off to come. You just jerk off, and then when you're about to climax, you stop. It's very hard to get to that level. Oh, edging. Edging, right? It's called edging, right? And then, like, when you're about to, when you're having sex, you can get to a, uh, you can get to a different climax. It's almost like an out of body experience. I've no, I'm, I'm not even gonna crazy. lie, bro. I edged so much that my cum shot hit my hit myself in the eye. <laughs> Has that actually happened to and you? None of it got it, in your mouth. Legit, it did. It actually Yo, did. Like, Edge it is <laughs> like I ain't even capping. Luckily, I wear glasses everybody. though, because I would have fucking poked my eyeball out. That shit came at like at least fifty-five feet per second. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was fast. Do you know how hard it is to edge, bro? Nah, I'm, I'm not hard. even capping sincere. Like I, it's embarrassing, bro. But it happened to me. Sometimes I, I'm, that shit I'm, hurts. I will be vulnerable like with you, yeah. bro. Mateo, like it goes you the know, wrong edge. way. I'll be vulnerable no, with no. you. No, you are letting that shit out. So how Luckily, I, I was in the shower how would too. I know it hurt. Dude, be edging a lot. I'm just, I'm just telling you, bro. Like, dudes can have orgasms. Bro. It's real shit. Yeah, I have it when I fucking nut. <laughs> I don't think that's right. true, though. So You've been eating bro. too much fenugreek. You're saying it's true. When you, when, when it happens, <laughs> the windshield. Just remember, remember who told you this first, bro. I had a cum bed? What you mean, cum I mean, bed? The G spots in like the Like a asshole. bed that you just used to cum? What do you mean? Is that true? What? You, what? you didn't know that? Wait, what did you say? I don't see the girl's ass, so I don't know about if it's in a guy's ass. I don't you, know. Oh, prostate oh is. My God. Mother yeah. Bro, ain't like her fingers in my ass or something like that. Yeah, the doctor, fuck? when he checks your prostate, he puts his finger up your ass. You never bro, had that? Bro, that does not feel good, bro. Well, yeah, no hurts. shit it don't. <laughs> yeah, no it, shit. You just said a, a G spot's in the ass. Isn't a G spot supposed to feel good? <laughs> Zolo, please tell me you're trolling. The fuck? <laughs> I mean, well, think when, yeah, like, I guess it is supposed to feel good. I don't know what the fuck it like is. like doing their thing. The girls are like, oh my god. No, when I was 17, 23, my boys... Again, house had a bed that everyone would smash in but never oh uh, you just you think girl you know like oh uh, i know okay yeah, no no never mind i'm, I'm gonna be honest girls, yo man. yo I bro i, I used to i used to smash in my one my old bed so you let a girl finger your ass bro i used to just tail? flip the fucking or mattress we talked about this uh like two weeks ago no no I'm just saying that probably makes the most sense to your little. <laughs> you just flip the mattress, you know what I mean? You good? Let it dry. Let it dry, right? Um. Wait, hold up. I feel like I had some shit, and I forget now. Watch this, bro. I'm actually curious. Have you guys ever been at like like frat parties, like college parties? Nah. How about like frat parties? No, I, I never really went to a frat party. I went to like house parties, but never frat parties. I've always parties. wanted to go. I wanted to see what it's like with frat uh, parties or like or college parties. Mm, it would probably chill, I guess. I don't know. Mm, I 
I came across a video on YouTube that was like dinosaur pillows. Six people who orgasm versus one person who never orgasmed. And my chat started talking about like I oh, feel they, like you could they're tell lying. That shit. Yeah, exactly. But they started having a conversation about how like there are a lot of women who don't orgasm. Like they'll have sex and sex will feel good. Really sweet. But they yeah. can't orgasm. So that's when like foreplay comes in the way. Yeah, yeah. There's they said like there's like a there's like a they said thirty five percent of women's never no had way, orgasm. Swiss, that's crazy. Yeah, I I was in three serious relationships and I didn't orgasm till my that's like third like serious back relationship. in the day. I mean, yeah. And then they said like even like a lot of women haven't squirted before ever. I've never squirted. That's that's rare. Women squirting is rare. Uh, huh? About, I Bro, I don't remember women. if she squirted, but I remember having like I know about it's uh, rare, but I've I've like when they're I'm fucking women. dripping, bro, and then you gotta like flip the mattress over and shit. Yeah, like your whole bed's <laughs> yeah. like wet. She probably squirted. That's why it's like it looks like a fucking pool uh, of pee. Uh, it is. It's a comfort. It's a comfort. Like it's a. Uh, because apparently, like, it feels like you're about player. to pee, so, like, a lot of women hold, hold it back because they are like pee during sex, but it's really just who, them about to squirt. Really? That's so... Is it pee, bro? Is it actually just pee? It comes out of the pee yeah, hole, it but it's clear. It's it's the mm. same, but it's just, like, fluid that... But, yeah, technically, some people say Oh, it's I know pee, the question I was going like... to ask. Wait, so... In what way is it not, though? See that like, people will have this debate, so it's oh, like. Oh, see, here we go. Here we go. No, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's not. It comes out the same. But some people say it's not. Some people say it is. But it's it's fluid that doesn't technically come out of you when you're just pissing, right? It just comes when you're having sex. But it comes through the same thing. And to be honest with you, sometimes it comes through the same hole. He just sometimes needs to pee, like, bro, low key. So my friend said that all his girlfriends have squirted. He said I hated that shit. It's such a mess. It's like water, damn near, because it doesn't have a scent. Yeah, it's 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 water. It's clear, but it is fucking messy, bro. It's just wait, your, your, <laughs> That's your match. What you're talking about, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, do you all have you guys like fucked on periods? Yeah, I have. What about you, Zoe? Mateo? Nah, I ain't fucking. Personally, nope. I don't. I just don't fuck with blood. Yeah, me. I don't like. I'm just one of those wussies that just like can't even like. Oh, one hundred percent. Fucking bro, hey, when we horny, like, we like, horny. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, hey, like put that pennies, blanket bro. down or put the put the fucking the towel down. Hey, you Gucci. No, I, I, I you don't even got to put lube on that shit. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's dude, already I, like, there I've for you. I and fucked then, if like, she they... came on her period, like why fucking? But not I ain't like I ain't know she on her period and I'm fucking. Honestly, uh, when a woman is on her period, that's when she's the most horny. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bro, like, like I can't help it. Crazy. If she attacking me, bro, I'm not going to say yeah. no. <laughs> if she attacking nah, bro. me. Nah, bro. That shit, that shit is gross. But for me, like, it, it's weird. Like, my period would literally stop during, like. Oh, yeah, because you get me. you get wet, right? It gets the flow yeah. stops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why a lot of people fuck in the shower, too, right? If they're on their period. They don't fucking the appear. They're not loyal. That like sucks ass, though. That's what we were saying. It that does, trash, bro. bro. I'm gonna be honest, man. Especially if like she's really short and you gotta like crouch okay. down a bit, bro. My, I, I, I my knees. legs be shaking afterwards. <laughs> like I, I, like because I've been been so low for so long. They're just like I'm like shaking afterwards. Bro, bro, it's crazy, any, bro. Anywhere but the bed is overrated, bro. I one hundred percent. Anywhere but the bed is overrated. Bro, e even like, I mean, car sex is okay, I guess. Bro, that should be, I want my, I need my leg room, bro. Yeah, car yeah. sex too. It's not, bro, you're like. You're trying to get your fucking thing out, especially when you're going crazy. It's just like, bro, oh, shit's in my yeah, way. Oh, yeah, 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 I feel that, I feel that. I mean. But it's not a bad thing. Like, it's I not would do it. terrible. It's not bad, bro, but. It's mostly like it, it's it works well if like she she's on top honestly. Well, and then I mean, I mean it works. It works. You push the seat forward a little bit. Yeah, you the push front the seat. seat yeah. You do all of that both seats, but yeah, it just yeah. be like. 
I, you you don't have to answer this, Angel, but um, do you like the pool is like the worst? You got can't. I, I know. It was hard I to love get. Giving head, yeah. No, no, no. Get in, receive in. Oh, oh, yeah, I do. Oh, I, I, I like that first one, bro. <laughs> really? oh, yeah. yeah, like if if my <laughs> significant other wants to, like I'll let him, but and it'll feel good, but it won't feel like I don't know. I just don't need it. Oh shit, you be really, really? She be really fucking with them Jamaicans. I feel you. Okay. Like, I don't like. I'm not looking for, it, but like if it seemed like, oh yeah, sure, like okay, but you know, it's it's. So you just want them to spit on it and then just go in. It. That's fair. Nah, they can eat you right. That's why. That but, don't make no okay, sense. I've came from it once, but it's because I was literally on top right in his face. Oh, so, like, there we go. Need, there we like, go. Okay. Vision. Like just getting in and out does nothing for me. I'm I've had sex. Right, let's move on from public that. spot. Yeah. He was doing that. Uh... Wait, I mean, I want to circle back to the sh like giving head. Like, I mean, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Angel, <laughs> did you want to touch I, a little I'm, bit more on that topic? I'm a, or I'm a, a giver, so like I don't mind like <laughs> giving head. Same. Bro, I feel like if I go, get head for too long, my shit just goes numb, bro. But that's, I guess that's I that makes her bad, right? Nah, you, I mean, don't, why are you getting ahead for that long, right? Is it? It's not, not too long, but it's just like, sometimes it's just like a good startup and then I just want to mm. fuck, you know? Like, I like really? the, I like the, yo, give me head for, but like, if you're like, I, I haven't nutted off a head before. I'm not going to give it, I'm going to give it a buck. It's, it can be hard. It can be hard Bro, for it's sure. It's fucking hard to like, y'all crazy. Giving, like, I'm a pleaser too, so, and mm. like, I want it, like, I crave it. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Okay, I love that. God damn, I fuck with that. I fuck with that though. Um, nah, yo, one of the sexiest things, bro. I I don't know why, but like I had this girl over it, and she was she asked me, "Can I suck your dick?" And I was like, I don't know why, but that shit, I found that shit hella sexy. I was like, like what the fuck? Yeah, of course, but like. It was just, I don't know why. Course, sweeties. Like, I just thought that was, I was like, damn, okay. I fuck with that. Oh, but people ask questions. Hold up, hold up. Um, I am not standing up. I'll literally snap my desk in half. Uh, hold up, hold up. Somebody asked, fuck, what did you guys ask? Something about public. Oh, what is the weirdest slash craziest place that you've, you've had sex? I wouldn't say like had sex i said like i did give like head to one of my uber drivers one time huh, huh? that's yeah okay so okay, she be that? fucking viewers she be oh, wait, wait, giving what? head to uber drivers hey yo chat she lives in california no, it's like really really fucking hot so <laughs> all right yeah, yeah. yo chat i got my something? uber shift that just started boys i'm gonna be back yo i'll catch y'all later <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What That's my niggas crazy. Drove, one I was talking for drove, like two weeks, and then we just stopped talking. One so. of my niggas drove Uber, and he said it's wild. He got is out. it? Yeah, he said he he got he got head twice and fuck one one chick. I'm like, what the hell? Like, oh, that's actually that crazy. A... Hold on, chat one. Oh, said that's, so said that's a good tip. <laughs> that's actually wild. Yeah, Bro, after they heard be... after they heard what Angel said, of course they want that shit. <laughs> No, nah, I respect Angel because she real with it. No, nah, I like that. She wild with it. Shit, she right? real with very it. talented, so look out. Yeah, of course. That's that's, well, that's what about everybody it. else? Nobody else answered it. I can't outdo the Uber driver thing, bro. I'm sorry. What you mean? <laughs> you don't be having sex in weird places? Weird places. Potato don't talk either. Like a like oh, okay. a field once, like okay. A, what kind of field? Like a public field? Like a baseball field? A football field? Corn no, field? it wasn't that. Corn field? It was kind of just like a random ass. I don't know where it was. A random it field. It was kind of like behind a place. Like, I don't know. It wasn't comfortable. It's was probably the worst. Mm. Or sex, but we did it. Okay. What about, what about you, uh, Les? A beach. Beach. beach is the worst yeah, it was it was bad it was the worst was i've bad. thought about the beach i thought i did it in the beach that was the worst experience ever mm. i've thought though no, i can the weirdest place like a house party it was front of everybody there was just mad people there and that they were just we just started making out 
Like it's okay. in front of everybody? Yeah, it was like uh it wasn't Damn. like uh it wasn't like there was a hundred people. There was it was like it was like 30, 35 people there. It was just like uh, and it was it honestly it was really fun because it was just like <laughs> Everybody watching was just like, and she was just like going crazy. Oh. I was like, I kind of liked it. I'm not even gonna okay. lie, but <laughs> so about that type of shit. Okay, that's one of my kinks. Like, I, I, I wanna, I wanna have sex like in front of somebody, or I want like some a couple to have sex in front of me, like on some cuck shit. That's like. A, a <laughs> oh, so you want your, you want your you want your man <laughs> less twenty two? <laughs> Yo, what? What the hell? Not plus yeah. twenty two. Yeah, everybody what? follow Bless Twenty Two. Yo, somebody I'm give this dude a, a gift. Gift this. Give somebody gifts to a sincere sub, boys. But like, you know, with fantasies, like you think you want it, and then when it's if when it, it happens, happen, like yeah, I'm probably yeah, scared yeah. as fuck. Nah, for real, F fantasies be a trick. Yeah, give him a give him a live update, boys. That's facts. If they come when they come to light, it's like it's not the same. Um. All right. So. I don't know. I, I did one where it was like, I told you guys about the, my friend in, in the porch and he was there. Uh, you told me about a graveyard. Yeah, thing. I remember Yeah, that the one. graveyard. The graveyard is probably the craziest. Graveyard, I did park. Uh, I did a public pool. Uh, well, it was like a, you know, an apartment pool. How do you um, like the pool? I think pool, is, pool is dog shit. I, I can I yeah, barely get my seven, dick bro. in, bro. Because cause the water... And mixed with the wet, like the chlorine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just uh, like water and 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 uh, pussy don't mix, crazy. bro. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, all these things are just like better to watch on TV. Yeah. So we moved. We moved to the. There, they had. It was like a uh, a little place where you get the towels and shit. Yeah. Well, it was like a graveyard. Yeah, yeah. And then we moved to like there was a the pool at the graveyard. A mausoleum. What's up? You say Mateo? The pool was at the graveyard? No, the pool was at the girl's place. Play, it's where she lived. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I was going to say for y'all, but I guess it could go for the girls too. Gym sauna. Uh, what's your thoughts on anal? That'd be crazy. No. <laughs> um, so... I, I'm not opposed to anal. Here we go. But that's something that you like really have to build. Like you can't just even if you're in a relationship for a long time, you can't just be like Angel. Thanks for getting at that. So like, you have to really get the, the girl, Chrissy like, and really then horny and really wet, and you need a lot of foreplay for anal to work, basically. DJ, thanks for getting that sub. That's sincere. And obviously, um. Nah, uh, say no. Nah. <laughs> I draw the line with, with butt shit, bro. Unless it's a chick just like maybe licking it. Wait, why nobody talk. Why did everybody go quiet? Know, what just happened? Quiet, I wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, I was answering I, something in chat, so I didn't really. You said you're building anal trust. No, no, no. Guys, Mateo, why you gotta make her feel like that, bro? Okay, but you were quiet too, Cardiff. Yeah, because I was actually talking to somebody, bro. Listen, 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 listen. The fact of the matter is, opinion first. my opinion is no, that Mateo I respect your, he's gonna, he's I respect you. I respect that you have to build trust. Okay. And not just trust, like you, you need to get the girl extremely horny because that shit fucking hurts. Okay. Like. Well, it depends on the girl to be fair. Cause I remember really? I brought this one shorty home <laughs> and uh, she, she was like, yo, stick that shit in my like ass. Champ, like I'm, huh? I'm chilling. Yeah. She was like, I'm, Hey. Hey, Hell let's go. No. I remember one of my exes, she, bro, she was a little freaky, you know what I'm saying? She, yeah, she, uh, yeah, I never mind, never mind. <laughs> no, tell us, please share with the class. Um, <laughs> so she was like the type of girl that enjoyed you, you know, putting it in her ass and then for a little bit and then you quickly putting it in her vagina. Oh my god. Yeah. And like back and forth though, like. What? Yeah. That shit hurts. That's crazy. She a champ for real. Shout out to her. I mean my dick's just small, <laughs> so. Yeah, so 
probably wasn't hard. Damn, you know what I'm saying? The best of the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for you, Curtis. Ah, I, I, hey, bless you, my homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got you, bro. I appreciate that. You don't fuck with like small dick dudes? Honestly, I don't care about size. Like, I'm not a size kind of oh, guy. Oh, that's what's up. I'm about that's what's like, up. Nah, that's what's up. Let me tell you guys oh, yeah. again. The, the, the G spot is three inches in, okay? So anything just, just, bigger than just, fucking six or seven inches is like just, way too big. <laughs> Mateo, you gonna answer the question? Yeah, what, what question are we answering? Let's go, boys. Nah, I'm in the clear. <laughs> the only one we asked. Oh, yeah. You know, I agree with Curtis, man. It matters about the chemistry between you and the girl. What are you talking about? You know, sometimes, I mean, I, I never respect in the G what, spot. what Bless said as well. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's a little easier. And some than others. Taco, taco, my boy. Taco, You're taco. killing the big dick boys. I just asked, do you? How, how do you feel about anal? Do you like it or not? I like it. Yeah. Well, I like giving hey, it. You like it, huh? You like taking it. I like it giving it. <laughs> why did you? Why did you wear? It's not bad. Like I mean, it's. I don't, I don't know. Pussy's good enough. You like changed the question halfway through. I I I, I fuck with it. But I you guys said it's just bad. It's like naughty. It's like the naughty mm, spot, you know. I yeah, see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. That's I respect that. So when she's like fuck me in the ass, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, know you, don't, what I'm you don't like giving ano, Zola? Yeah, like I. I oh, okay. Most, most girls like that shit. I'm gonna keep it a buck, but most girls. But but they but they do have bad experiences where like guys would have shoved it in and. Mm. You know what I mean? You gotta but be you gentle gotta, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be gentle. You gotta take time. You gotta, you gotta ease gotta it like, in first. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta warm up. Like, you can't just shove it in. You gotta, like, put the tip, Start. work it a little bit, stir. You know what I mean? Like, you That's know? That's what I'm saying. Hello, yeah, finger or yeah. two. Finger or two. You know what I'm saying? Finger in the butt is is always it's a regular thing, but yeah. Uh, That's a regular thing for you. They buy, like, um, thumb in the butt? Yeah, if I'm naughty style, for sure. What, what is oh butt plugs some people buy like different sizes yeah butt plugs yeah, to, like, butt prepare plugs, yeah. Themselves. i think yeah, we have yeah. peace yeah there's uh that i don't know i just feel like like how is, taco like, like good or bad and you don't fuck I'm with weird it like that right that's i like when it's like prepared or talked about it's like i don't want to do it no more like if a girl was like okay baby I'm gonna do Yo, what? Next week. i'm gonna get prepared it's just like bro i don't want to do i don't i don't i don't like well, like when I think about what I do during sex, that's not me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Like when I'm like just in a normal state of mind. You know what I'm saying? It's like Yo, Zolo a freak. Well, actually, Zolo gets in just... a crazy mode. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, I don't want to be like, oh yeah. But when I'm in that, you be mood, spitting I'm in her mouth like... and shit too, right? Yeah, like you smack her a little bit. Yeah, not not <laughs> too like, hard if though. She like it if she like it. Like if she likes it, right? Yeah, like I had one show that she like getting slapped in the face and spit in the mouth. I, I like shit. Like she me. got me, she got me into that. So I was like, <laughs> she's like love when his mouth. dick I'm smelling like, huh? shit. <laughs> What'd she say? Uh, Taco says Zola love when his dick smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, has a Curtis? Has a girl ever? Has a girl? Bro, has that girl ever sucked your dick after you something? <laughs> what your ass? Oh, what? Has a girl ever gave you like has you ever pulled, ass, bro. Has you ever pulled it out? Like you know, you're fucking her ass. She pulls it out, sucks it. Like nah, dog. I, maybe I say, nah. Oh, shit, I don't think so. Like a fudge pop. That shit. <laughs> wild. I'm like, I'm like, yo, this shorty a freak, freak. But <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys had a girl do anything crazy freaky while y'all were during sex and then been like, wait, hold the fuck up? Bru yeah, oh, I mean, mine would probably yeah. just be like, they eat. she started licking my butt. I wasn't prepared for that shit, but <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess. Some guys like that. Yeah, that yeah goes. Like that. that's normal shit, to be fair. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I've I've had a wait. So uh, you you fucking with mostly like black chicks or what? Uh, uh I fuck with all types of chicks. Nah, but like in your in your past, like who you who you fucking the most? You want to give it a buck? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Latinas. Okay. Most of my chicks been Spanish. <clears throat> and then I would that. say, then I'll say black, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I say black. I was, I was in, I was into like, I don't even know if I should say, like, I was into like, like Latina chicks, Asian chicks for Another a while level. too, but like. Very few white chicks, maybe like three or four white chicks I've ever messed with. I'm gonna be honest. But like it's either the, the top of the chain or like Spanish, like mm. that's just like mm -hmm. that's just like that's just like I but And a half Jamaican, right? Mine's a Cambodian. Oh, I had a I, I had a Cambodian girl before. Mm. Super nice chick. Yeah, Cambodian girls are really pretty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but um, yeah, Puerto Rican, Dominican, um, Mexican. Yeah, like that kind of vibe. I feel you. I can't. I don't even know. I'm trying to think, like, how many white girls I actually. I mean, yeah, I been some. I, I've been, I, I did, you know, I've, uh, I've dibbled and dabbled, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's weird because I don't even like, like, the white chicks that, like, act black. So, or if that's the thing, like, oh, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, no, no, I'm no, like, no, 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 no. So, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Just, just like, I, I don't know. I'm not like I don't know. It's just uh, yeah. no. I'm trying to get a, get a gauge for for like you know these freaky Johns. Like who are they? Like hood Johns or are they? Nah, nah, no. Nah. I don't do. I don't really do hood hood bitches. Was when I was like okay, mad okay. young, but like I'm talking like elegant. You know, what I'm saying high, high sophisticated. I know mm. like the the quiet ones. I don't really go for them loud drums. Okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's wrong with the hood? Bitches, what the, the fuck? Quiet one, the quiet ones are like really, they really wild with it. Yeah, but are you, um, a, so are, are you a quiet one though, uh, Bless? I feel like you're kind of uh, shy, but maybe I when you get she, to know people. I mean, that's what I'm saying. She do, uh, man, she look mad shy, I feel like bro. hood girls like, are, my friends. hood girls are very like, if it's at first, but once you get to know them, they're very like sweet. Like they're sweethearts when you like break yeah. it down a little bit. Hood bitches will set you up and get you killed. I'm not saying bitches from the hood. There's difference. There's a hood bitches is a mentality, bro. Not chicks from the hood. Preach. You know what I'm saying? It's just like saying ratchet. Ratchet's a mentality. Would you date a girl with an OnlyFans? Like, I feel like I, I can't even girl, answer that because I mean I have an OnlyFans. So like. Era. Yeah, when you mad young, it's different, right? It's like yo, like you know what I'm saying? Like 18, 19, you coming out? The, like it's different. But I'm just saying, like. I was doing the projects. <laughs> Yeah, East New York. I'm the most hood we know. <laughs> but um, bro, I had this one chick in East New York, bro. I would this this chick be like, "Yo, come see me." I'd be like, "Yo, you gotta come over." I'll here. ask. I'll ask for you though. Would you date? Would you date a girl with OnlyFans? Zo, Mateo. Uh, would I date? Over here, let's go. Um, would I date a girl with OnlyFans? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Depends what kind of only fans, like what kind of content she makes. If she doing like feet pick, sure. <laughs> I was about to say feet pics. Yeah, feet pick, sure. Let's get this money, baby. But not like, and and that's not against like, bro. I've got like, I've got at least like six home girls that got only fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like me personally, I just wouldn't date it. You just you have it's just a mentality thing. It's just not. It's not what I. It's just not my preference. I don't. It, that has nothing to do with them. It's just not. So my you won't preference. be doing the content with them. 
they they then they my homie like we business partners. Oh, uh, right, we're not right, going right, right. Like yeah, kids yeah, and yeah. get married it's or nothing like that. Mm. Yeah, like oh, but if you want to shoot some shit, I wouldn't. I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even do OnlyFans. Like I wouldn't do that. Like, I wouldn't. But mm. it's just. But I'm saying like if it was like that, then yeah. So you like don't fuck business. with me then? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. You just got. You've got the. You've got the. Like that's just never been me. But you've got the mentality to do that I, I just can't do that but yeah, that yeah. has not to do with like that's not me judging or not i just i think that's very brave of you to do that you know but you're asking me would i date a girl that has a mm. only fans mm. nah. what about you would you i don't know because if i was a man i wouldn't personally so i get, yeah. I get where you're coming from you get you got what you get what i'm saying bless like that shit like i wouldn't want my women you know, on OS, if I was yeah. a man, but um, if my man was doing OS, it's I your money. I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's your money. If babe. I was a man, I wouldn't date a woman who's doing OS. Mm. But I don't like. Now why is that? Why I wouldn't date a woman? That, that's doing but, no but She's, he okay. doesn't know. She said she would date a dude um, that does it. I, I, I'm bisexual, so I saw it. But wait, really? Yeah. Shout out um, to you. Shout out to you. Hey. I. Do you on my side, I bro? I think. What you say, hey Angel? What would that be? Nothing. I think I'm more <laughs> jealous with my girlfriends than I am with, like, what I would be with my boyfriend. Really? Like, I, I can't explain it. No, no, no. Get get into that. Like, because is it more of a, is it more of like cause the, the the femininity that I like? Think so yeah, yeah. See, like that's that's so, so that's why you can understand both perspectives. That's that's yeah. cool. Because it's kind of like like I don't fem- want nobody touching my yeah, girlfriend. But like yeah. with my boyfriend. Yeah, she like, said if she was a guy, she wouldn't date like, a girl who did it. Have a girl come in or like. Okay. 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 <laughs> that's. That's it makes weird. sense to me too. I'm gonna be honest. I don't yeah, know why, yeah. but it makes sense to me. <laughs> See, for me, Curtis can have an OnlyFans. I'm, I'm right. cheering him. That's I'm what I'm saying. Sign up. I'm gonna support. Okay, don't sign up. But I wanna do all of that. But like, I don't know. I feel like, like again, a girl that I like in love with, I like. Like, I want that for be for me. Like, I, that's why I like the. I like private girls and thank you, Clam. Quietness and shit. Like I, I just, support just a the bros. Type of character that I just attract. If I'm in love, have with I had them, a threesome? You know? Yeah, it was like a. It was. It wasn't really. I, I wouldn't consider. Nah, I wouldn't consider it a real threesome, bro. Because it wasn't a. It it's wasn't enough, man. Like, like you know, exactly. I, like, yeah, you know, I kind of. Ba- I banged both of them, but like people make make fun of him too. But it's like, bro, he's in. It wasn't like exactly. It didn't last that long. Like she, the other girls, is like. I don't know if you guys kind of gave up. His name is Joey Sins. Well, I. It was. It's crazy because I had already banged the other. That was a pool girl. So there was two of them. But my boy ended up leaving. His girlfriend's like. Four I banged years. the one girl in the pool, and I and, ended up banging uh, the other girl like in the bed. But like, the other like girl was in the bed as well. Star. And she only yeah, fucked. Him, I wouldn't consider but it real. She would fuck other girls. She was into girls. Their relationship was great. And then she was like, "Oh, if what if I start like fucking guys in scenes and whatever?" And he was like all for it. And then she was like, um, "After a while, he just couldn't handle it. Like he just mm. he didn't like it." And uh, um, and you she think was that's actually, what's gonna happen with Adam? She was. I was actually watching the interview on Adam Twenty Two. And uh, Adam was asking her questions. He's like, yo, like, because they're like, basically, <laughs> if the Joey Sins guy can't handle nah, that. I guess it's because I already she like. <laughs> she, was, he was, she was like, yo, I would come home and I'd feel weird. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, my, you know what I'm saying? My, my eyes or some shit. And I'm running in the shower. And just she, she's like, it was just very awkward. And I feel like as a man, like, men are like very territory, like dominant, like, God, like, you know, unless you're. And then basically she said, unless the, the guy's into that shit, like the, the cock shit, then it will never work. And this is coming from a porn star. Mm. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, uh, fuck. Uh, go, go ahead. I just got brain fog. I just wanted to make a point that I got. Damn, we forgot it. I never Eiffel Tower. Nah. 
I tried to but get yeah, my to boy. Like see your girl getting banged out on OnlyFans, like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know about that. I'm um, good with that. Unless but like, I couldn't expect. I couldn't expect the same. Like, if I'm doing boy girl content, I wouldn't expect uh, like a chick to be okay with that. Yeah, exactly. It goes both ways, but yeah. then it's like some. It depends. That's why I said it's your preference, right? What if you find a chick that is okay with that? You know what I mean? But uh i think that's where it gets uh I think and like you I said like, if I, i'm doing content with a girl it's most likely i don't know if i'd want to be in a relationship with her it'd more be like like this is kind of business this is it this is business bro. yeah it all depends is like yeah what you're doing on like what you're providing or what kind of content you're providing on only fans it's a i know you yeah what if she's not banging dudes? What if she's just doing like solo content? Like playing with herself? Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Okay. You just don't like other men looking at her, your girl? Ooh, yeah, bro. And like I said, like. Or are you worried about the people that are DMing her and shit? Like she not, might it's, catch it's feelings? Not a, it's not a worry thing. It's just preference. It's not worried. Like. Yo, I agree, Swiss. See, I think is, he's making a hell like, of money off that shit. I was going to say when I got brain fog. Guys, you see how I'm make, being clear and I'm like, I right, I wouldn't fuck with a girl who does OF because I'm jealous. Like, that's straight up. I would be more jealous of my girl. Guys make it about the girl. Like, they cannot admit, like, yeah, I'm jealous. I don't want my girl doing this. Like, I don't think it's like, jealous. I think I just think I, I, I don't think jealousy is the word. Jealousy is like. Like, I, that's something I wouldn't want. Like, it wouldn't it wouldn't be like. I feel like jealousy is a, a word of like saying I'm afraid or something. It's like no, you, you get to see you like get to though. you get to pick who you want as uh, a spouse, and I just wouldn't want my I wouldn't I want my girl that. promiscuous like that. And I'm just not a tr but again, like, could we go out? Could we date? Could we hang out? Could we have fun? But like exclusivity, like grow family, kids, like it's just not my preference. I, not I into get that. that. Okay, that I understand. Like, yeah. if you're thinking I'm gonna have kids with this person in the future. Yeah, I'm trying okay, to work on it, Victor. About the kids, you don't want them but, to. Experience but if it. I met a girl and I started liking her and she was on OnlyFans, like it wouldn't, like I wouldn't, like say I did start liking her, I wouldn't care because that's what she does. I already know that. It's not like, oh, why are you with this mm. dude? But I'm just saying personally, you you get to choose who you get to be with. It's not like you just get this fucking random dating person and you have to marry. It's just like I'm just not attracted to that. Okay, I get that. Yeah. Because the majority of guys are just like, oh, she's being a hoe, or this and that, and make it like about the girl when it's no, nah, like that's shaming them. It's their own reason. Nah, that's nah, shaming nah, them. I don't I like that. Them. I mean, do you, yeah. do, you do whatever you want, bro. It's like a new age of content. I mean, well, not new age because bro, porn's been around it, forever, but it's, it's just it's the same thing as normalized. It's, it's just the same thing as like a girl might not want to date me because I'm a gamer. Like I don't want to fucking sit right. around and this guy's probably a fucking nerd. He plays games all day. Like. She probably doesn't want that. Like, oh, why? What What if I'm a nice person? It's like, no, I don't want that. I want a guy that's fucking outside fucking doing a construction job. I want that. Like, that's her preference. Yeah. I can't, you know what I mean? It's not like saying she, you, that's just, you know? At least I, I, like, I know, yo, I know a lot of girls in the, in the sex working industry, and they're more cle cleaner than girls that are not, because these girls will get tested, they'll make sure they're clean and make Brady. sure they're Brady! Yo, thank you for the prime, bro. I appreciate here, they, you. They just randomly fuck whoever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, those girls are more clean and more honest and more straight up and don't hide secrets, to be fair, but... Honestly, true. Yeah, bro, just, I've seen interviews with, like, these porn stars, and they are, like, super down to earth, and they're just, like, they seem like the chillest people. They're the chillest people. They're fine, but... Uh, doesn't mean I have to go marry one. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, it's all comes down to preference. You know what I mean? Like some people like dick girls. Some people don't. Some people like this. Some people like tits. Some people don't. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in my chat said, hoes are the cleanest person on earth. <laughs> okay, really back. Hold on. Nah, bro. Not like you. on earth. <laughs> Cause that's their bread and butter, bro. They can't afford to be like getting dirty and shit. They that's their bread and butter. Like that's their money. They understand it. Yeah, that's a fact. So 
So I get it, mm. but I'm just that's just not a world that I care to bro, be. Bro, Swiss, in. why are you keeping Cindy down, bro? He's just trying to make the bag so he can get the GTR. How much uh, OnlyFans? He's got deep. Mr. K cosplay. I don't think that's deep. That's just. What the fuck? It's good to talk about things like this because people, some people are like, like they might be a guy that's in love with a girl that's on OF right now, but he's, he's stopping his love because he's like, he probably feels embarrassed and shit, you know? Conversations bro, like this. Bro, oh, is that the Valorant guy? Help people. No. Yes. Yo, sometimes you can't help who you like. If you're around somebody, sometimes you can't help how you feel about. And that's why I always say, like, embrace your feelings. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. Nah, he should. Like he showed us the picture. Right now, and he's like, <laughs> he's best friend or he's homegirl, is the only fans girl, but he just like loves her. He loves her personality, and he like carries the bags and sets up the camera for her. Oh he my could, god! He could be that guy. That's, the fluffer. That's what, <laughs> and no, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. That's fine. Like you know, embrace it. Embrace it. See how it goes. Try it. Never. Like I go off of what I've experienced, right? Like just, I'd say try it, but. Angel, you starting up your uh, OnlyFans? Uh, Wait, you yeah. said you had one before, didn't you? No, I, I still have mine. I okay. do. I just, you just don't haven't, post. I haven't post, but I, I am making a return. Mm. Oh, Mateo, she said she's making a return. Mateo, would you do OnlyFans? Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Wait, would you actually, Mateo? Uh, yeah. Like, legit. I was, say, I was saying if I got down to, like, your weight maybe i probably would what a legend I, bro. i'd have to feel more confident i don't think i don't look that good shirtless right now <laughs> i got like a dad bod okay no i'm saying you would though because you can get to you I would. you can get yeah. to that weight regardless of whatever you can get to whatever you feel comfortable right that's what i'm saying so if if and when or say when you get to that weight you would yeah i'm gonna start with the feet and then move my way up <laughs> baby stop not in public <laughs> go, go to the knees <laughs> Where you get the shirt from? My friend gave me the shirt. Yeah, women make more money uh, I think it was a it's a Rucker shirt. Only fans girls make, honestly. And this is the only size God, they yo, had. God, listen, the porn but industry is it's a good like workout shirt. Because if this it, chill it, shirt it, to wear around the just house. horny guys, right? It's a it's a dominant male market, right? So like they like feet, they like everything. So. Yeah. I think if girls I, make money, he, like it's crazy. he was uh that's so crazy. I think it's just like the mystery water. of like I've sold feet pics with fifty dollars per. I'm not even gonna hold you. Really? Fifty? Yes. yes. You have $50 sold fifty dollars per feet pic. Yes. That's it. That's no, a lie. What the fuck? Fifty dollars for a feet for a picture? Pic? That's expensive that's as fuck. A three second foot video. I'm just that's fucking crazy. No, that's he sold it for more. Send me your guy. Who? What the who? Fuck? Who? Mateo. <laughs> no, he didn't. Mateo no, is no. trolling I, right I don't now. Do it. No, I was joking. I was yeah, joking. he's trolling. <laughs> he said that's it. I have a mutual really, that he I, has. I, like, oh, oh, I hate feet. No hate way. Feet, Are you serious, Swiss? <laughs> I don't have socks on right now, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, not for free. Show them to your stream. <laughs> no, how <laughs> For free? <laughs> oh, sub, sub goals. That's what I was saying. I was saying, I remember I was asking, like, what makes. Oh my like, god, imagine if he came on Twitch. That's what makes a fetish. What makes a fetish? Like, what makes, like. Wait, is that allowed? If you find it, if it makes you arouse, yeah, I guess, it's not maybe. Sexual. Like, I Like, how do you just, like. That's what I'm trying to say. Like it's it, it, it like you just see some feet and you're just like, damn that. Yeah, probably. That like I look at feet, and I'm like, okay. Uh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but then for some people, they see feet yeah. and they're like, oh my fucking god, man. No, I get yeah, no, me I with that, that shit. I don't. That's why I wouldn't make fun of somebody's uh, fetish. Do you, you watch? Just... Oh, watching porn during a relationship. I'd say yeah, well, so... yeah. I've done that in every one of my relationships. <laughs> every one. one. Yeah, I've watched porn, but yeah, I remember one of my girls didn't. My she was like not liking it a bit. Wait, what'd you say? Your toes suck? <laughs> I had a foot fetish. Guy stole my sock. <laughs> I had to walk around for the rest of the day without a sock. Yo, you Wait. think you would like come in it and then make you wear it? Ew. <laughs> they probably do like that. You never know. Yeah, Is I it? could see him being in there some shit like that. 
I was I was still in high school. I was still very innocent, and oh. I was talking to this guy, and he uh, like this is how I learned about <laughs> fetishes. He was talking about he has a foot fetish, and I'm like, what? I just didn't understand. And he's like, yeah, can I can I do a collab? We outside like sitting on the stoop. I'm like, okay. The only collab we doing is the so car collab, I hand, dog. I put my foot on his lap. He takes my sneaker off, takes my sock off, massages my foot smells my sock and he goes yo i'll be right back and i'm like Whoa. wait wait wait." he's like i swear i swear i'm gonna come back he never came back like this guy stole my sock he probably has it totally yeah, you on top of the hood yeah. that is crazy <laughs> uh, the rest of the day he got a collection sock. and shit i would have put homeboy on a watch list that's what i'm saying like <laughs> what he starts doing now i'm like that's kind of like yeah i saw the beaver <laughs> Isn't that Yo, I creepy? seen um. I never saw him again. Like, I seen uh, I was driving was and I seen like my job a Camaro, uh, a was new Corvette, and some dude yeah, had some Beamer. I think it was like a process. like an M5, like not an M5, but like a like a. <laughs> no, I'm not. Is there anything you? It's you like guys a into that's like. It's kind of like you know, there's like an M. 340i uh, so or whatever weird, but it wasn't like a real m a, but it was like a such a wrong word whatever. to say but like yeah i think it was like an m530 like, like or something he's into feet like what are y'all into that y'all would say like i'm normal no, wait did normal. you guys say something to me because i know that's that's shit when you say yeah, you're i'm 510 510 i'm so normal it's very inclusive of you so appreciate you mateo <laughs> Like, is there anything that you're into that's like, like how you see how Mateo said he was into knees? Like, Sin, like, how tall are you, anything... bro? I never said that. You tall? You're six foot? I said I didn't like knees, is what he I said. He said he don't like knees. He don't like okay. people knees. All right, so we, that was a joke. But, oh, um, same height. Like, guys are into you're 6'3. Like, you like, there's no fucking you shot here, 6'3, bro. Like... Fuck out of here. What he's saying is, do you, do you have a kink? I'll tower oh, you, little man. Okay, kink. <laughs> this dude so, like, is so Genesis dumb, bro. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Not the little I mean, man, bro. I, I want to be like submissive to the point where I'm like, yes, sir. Be told to do. Yeah. Okay, would that be a, that's a kink, right? That that is a kink, yeah. but it's also kind of like yeah, like being submissive, like is very. Like, like, so what you want to be like? Be, dominated. B, BDSM. Obedient. Or whatever, yeah. Obedient. Yeah. Yeah. Tied up and shit and like punched up. I got you. <laughs> Not punched up. No, <laughs> stuff <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, I love what? my black eye before I come. No, 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 no. I actually I know girls. Don't knock me out before. Yeah, like, like what the hell? Women Yo, I know, I know, I know. I know a girl who liked to be. Slapped. She wanted to be choked to the point where she almost felt like she passed. She she's about to pass out. I said, like, okay, next. No, nah, there's actually guys that like I, I, don't they like strangle themselves and then try to come because it feels better or something. Asphyxiation. Mm, I've seen that. I literally that, yeah. have a really? friend who likes that shit. Like yeah. she tells me all the time, like I pass I, out, and I, wake back up, getting fucked. Yeah, See, yeah. It's like you can't do it with everyone. Obviously, for me, like I have to have someone like I truly. Bro, I need to take a piss really bad. To that person to like feel comfortable to feel like he chokes me enough to a point where I feel like like it's to a point where I can't breathe but he knowing knowing that that person has the ability to like let up on me is like a trust for me in a way yeah, it's very I'm, exciting and arousing for me I had to remind you when shorty told me that I was like I had to remind I'm like I'm black yo we can't be taking them risk <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry mama well I'm about but, to fuck this up for everybody the guy this guy that I was dating he liked that shit, like, and and we went in bed and he tried it once on me, like, where he tried to make me pass out, but I was holding on for dear life, like, I just didn't pass out, and I stopped, because he didn't even tell me he was going to do that, my stomach is growling, I'm sorry. That's right, I like them. Yes, facts, and he didn't even tell me he was going to do it, and he tried it, and I'm like, I, I didn't pass out, whatever, and he ended up stopping, and we finished, and after that, like, I stopped fucking with him, and he's in jail right now for two bodies. Or murder. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if a guy, if a guy is into that shit, he's on something else. Yep. Oh, by the way, he confessed these murders to me before he got locked up. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And you was just like, yeah. You want me to hide a gun? I got you. Hell no. I was scared as fuck. I ended up moving from that apartment and everything. I'm not a ride or die, bitch. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Yo, do I'll ride, but I'm not dying. No. I'm not dying for nobody. I'll ride, but I'm not dying. 
That's not yeah. even right or die. That's fucking. Uh, he killed two people. Like that shit is crazy. That's that's East New York for you. So you're gonna get out of there. Bless. Do you not, think he's not even from the East? He's from Bushwick. I have a question oh. for, for you. Yeah. Do you think you could hold a guy down in jail? But if you guys had like a true good relationship and you know he went in for some shit, like are you type of girl to hold it down like why he's like, I think that's up? corny, yo. I absolutely. You think it's corny? I I I personally don't wanna experience that, but if I'm in love with somebody and like I really, really love this person, I, I, yes, I feel like that's I will hold him down. Circumstantial. Like say your husband ended up like killing someone that he was trying to protect you, that's a little different, but like you just dating a hood dumb just a hood, uh, you know, a hood dude, and then he out here just killing people and shit. Like, why the fuck would you hold yeah, that motherfucker? Everything. Sin, sin getting treated like a real, and real good so boy. I know I could do it, and like my ex that I was with like he used to work a lot like so we barely got to go out we barely got to like do hella shit so I know I could like hold it down basically um okay okay bless yeah, but that shit okay. sucks and it's go get them jailbirds hell fucking no I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I've seen that show that shit is hilarious bro shorties be bragging they got dudes in jail like it'd be crazy out here I, I saw what an I for arms. Of um, the girls, these girls I do a lot of like seated shit. Like the guys very the controlled. Jail, like through a toilet bowl, arguing. <laughs> I never, I never crazy. swing, bro. Don't be swinging. God, she was really cussing him out through a toilet bowl. Yo, they get creative as fuck. Also, you can use the uh. Jailbirds are fucking. The preacher curl shit. It's crazy. But instead of um. Doing regular preacher My curls. My used to tell me how he used to warm food up. Sit. And he used to like make a whole thing and use your back to it and fucking and then hella shit to be able to heat food up. I, I, I just don't mean know how they be getting phones up in there. Like I be scrolling to TikTok and they just be live like the guards, like, posted bro. up in prison. Like it's the place to be in jail. Them, them guards, <laughs> them guards get money, bro. I was literally about to say that. Yep, it's through the guards. Yep. The hell y'all talking about? Because they can't fit an iPhone in there. Bro, if you listen, I was peeing. Mm -hmm. You eating a damn cookie? Shut up. Yeah. True. Uh, we were talking about uh, <sighs> jail, and like, can you hold someone that you really love down when they locked up? Nah. They got to fend for themselves. All, all these guys, all these guys, <laughs> all these guys in jail have all this creativity and all that shit. Like, why didn't they just use that outside? True, <laughs> and then they come out and talk they'll never, about it, but they'll never be they'll it. never be in jail if they use that creativity outside to invent some shit or use Facts. that use that use that focus to just oh yeah, be good citizen, you know. The I should go to Amsterdam. Jail foods be good too. Like, Why? Yeah, because yeah, of the hookers the, you know, um, or the prostitutes? I know. I seen. I seen. I had a. I had a, um, an uncle. Who's making Mac flurries up in there? Word. That one thing with the mayonnaise, the Doritos, the fucking um, ramen, like this, so they be making the all that. Shit? Yeah, that be and the, and, uh, the the chips, the um, I think it's like the. the I don't Doritos use any weird like sex toys yeah, during sex. Yeah. <laughs> use like a vibrator. Yeah, they or can fucking her. come out and start a whole business with that. I know and call it jail food. Be able to blow up because people will be interested to see. Hell yeah, they would make good money. You could Uber Eats pussy. That shit would be on TikTok and everything. Any jailbirds in here? There goes an idea. Bro, I don't, I don't think it's our demographic. I don't think so. You'd be surprised. Now I had a guy that was that was in jail in my chat before. Yeah, but you're a girl. <laughs> yeah, very right, different. Can you, yo, they should start an Uber for pussy. That'd be oh, illegal you mean prostitution. Escorting. escorting. I think I think I think that's illegal. I think they got it in like Amsterdam where it's Uber pussy is crazy. Yo, prostitution is legal in New York now. Really? 
Yes, and you. after they made it legal, you got to see, like, I could literally walk up the block right now and there's going to be, like, 80 girls there. Guys actually pulled over. Oh, shit, boys. Uh, I got to go like, meet Rami crazy. over in New York. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, is it like, Rami with a uh, pigeon? He with pigeon right now, yeah. You should link up with him. I try to hit him up. He don't respond. I better off hitting pigeon up. I'm telling y'all, the sex robot's gonna take over very soon. The guap, you ain't wrong. Guap, the guap guap 10,000? Nah, robots can't. Curtis ain't take... never going on. Yo, Mattel showed That's me right. a machine, bro. I might even go lie. I was tempted. I was like, Wait, what do you show you? <laughs> Mattel showed me some like crazy shit. <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, this shit. Wait, 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 wait. Remember the, what, the spinning one? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mateo yeah, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. me, but look at this dude, bro. He's the one that knows all about I said, bro, this shit, I think this shit would kill, would kill my whole nerve system because I'd be, it'd be so, feeling so good that a, a chick would never feel the same. Oh, wouldn't that suck, bro, to ruin sex for you? Yeah, I know. The guac guac 3000 is about to be. Or it might make your life a whole lot better. A lot simpler, a lot less. Mm. A lot simpler. Yep. Mm. The slurp jerk 5000. That actually sounds like a real one. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That's crazy. I had a question when I was peeing, but I forget what it was. <laughs> Two um, girls, one guy trio, or two guys, one girl? Bro, you guys really want me to like dudes. Like, I swear to God, bro. People, I, sw I swear, people in my chat just want me to like dudes. Uh, two, two girls, bro. I, I, I mean, don't I, want a guy near done, me. I did. When I was drunk, I was trying to let my boy hit it. In the, yeah, I was trying to let my butt, boy get it in her, in her ass. But like you mean like you did a train so remember I was fucking her on the porch she was riding me and I told my boy to join I was like yo is it cool if my boy joins in and she said yeah but he couldn't get his dick heart you thought I was bi no How I don't like work? dudes I can't like, stand when people like these dudes will send me like dick pics I mean, and shit. I'm like, bro, if you send me that shit, you tip me first. I don't know. Nah, sometimes in a moment, like, yo, they, motherfuckers freeze up, bro. Nah, he was on like. Hell he was he was drunk shit. though. He was probably, he was hurt. like he was drinking. So he probably just couldn't. Uh. Gonna get hard, you know. Like when, when oh, I, yeah, bro, I mean, when you're drinking, bro, it's hard as fuck to even come sometimes. You know what I mean? Bro. You just be lasting hours and it's just bro, like, holy fuck. Especially if you drink Hennessy, bro. It's like, I used to drink Hennessy and Red Bull a lot, bro. Like that shit makes you like, like if you got a new, if you got you a feel new about streamers team, use, like, like, who use religious that, names. You, you, you will be showing out, but that should be like, fuck, man. I have no idea what you're talking about more. I'm not religious. I don't probably shouldn't talk about religion either. I'm like agnostic, I guess. He can't, he can't, he can't get it out. That's just what, crazy. One, one time this girl's like, is my pussy not feeling good? Like. Oh my God. Poor baby. I was like, I'm giving a buck. Not right now. Oh, when I told the story mu yeah, much? Just, yeah, I know. That's the worst. Like, you question everything about yourself. If a guy can't get it hard. Hmm. Not get it hard. He just can't. I just you just be fucking forever and just can't not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you're like drunk. Yeah. I've been nutting. It happens, bro. Yeah, I don't drink anymore. So, what's up? Thank you for having me. I is. Yeah, it's about that to, night. It's about that time. RP it was right nice now. meeting you. You got an RP. Good. What are you going yeah. in? Guys, get on up, Hexa. <laughs> what server are you getting into? I uh, I play on PMA. PMA, never heard of that. Yeah. You, you, 
Do you ever just piss at 3 a.m. and shit goes five separate ways? I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> it was really good to meet all you guys. Yeah, I you appreciate too. you. Bless. Yes, hey, bless. It was a pleasure. We got to play some Valor. Yo, let me know. I'm down. I just added right. you guys. I was so nervous, but thank you so much for having me. I told you it was going to be chill. Real, real chill. You know? W sex combo. <laughs> good night, you guys. All right, good later. Night. Have a good one. Peace, peace. Um, she cool. She was cool. Yeah, I liked her. And she cool people. I think yo I, that happened to me when I had uh when I like like yeah nutted and then didn't pee right afterwards. Yeah, I liked her. Shut up, Kermit. Um. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I got somebody else that might come, not tonight, but like uh, another weekend or some shit. Cool. She bull. This, this could be like the after hours podcast or something. Hmm. Yeah, I got to think of names and um, I wonder if it needs to be more structured. Or not. Well, like, what did, do you think? You did, you did good today. I think it was like pretty you, good, right? You, yeah, you involved like your chat and shit. Yeah. It's getting better like every time, right? Like a little. Yeah. yeah. Where do I know her from? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think it's cool. We just have like a couple different guests, like, you know, like. I just know her from Twitter. More people, like, kind of shit like that. And then, you know. She followed me on Twitter and I followed her back. Yo, yo. But she streams yeah, yo, and shit. Uh, Jack be on that other server. He'll be on. He's on Omar server. He's been getting crazy content on that shit, bro. Really? Yeah, I heard yeah. he got like, two, like five, five kills, four kills or some shit. Yeah, for TikTok, he's been getting crazy content. Have you wingman for a bro? Yeah, yeah. I used to wingman all the time. Cause my one boy was like scared to talk to chicks. So I would like go over. Gotta get on that TikTok shit, man. And always start the convos and shit. Yeah, I might, I might. I was thinking about just jumping in that server. We should just jump in them servers, like just fuck around and just jump in it. Who jump we, who, who do we know? Like, or do we just to start our shit? Just start from. We're already scratch? in the server. We got they, they white, they whitelisted the whole CG. Oh, I didn't get whitelisted. Yeah, yeah oh, I, I didn't, didn't join the Discord, either, but we can. No. You guys didn't join the Discord? Oh, uh -huh. well, just, just tell Garrett. He'll get it done. Yeah, we just jump in there here and there and just fucking go get like a bunch of content for like TikTok. Because that's what I've been watching Jack and that's all he be doing, bro. He be in there. No, nah, that's actually smart shit, as fuck. Chilling the motherfuckers and then just getting some content. Those those nice minute clips for TikTok, bro. And you don't have to worry about like anything happening. Yeah, he's not just fucking sitting in the, uh, in the cubby staring at the wall. <laughs> I mean, that could so. be like the late night content, you know, like that's once, what I was thinking too. Once, like sweet. We'd be trying to like find shit too much. Like I, sometimes there's just not shit that you can do. Yeah, and uh, Ratchet being there too. So I just say we just oh, like yeah. kind of we just build up like we just build up a formula, just try new things. And then maybe that's like what Mateo said. We go there late night, go rob some banks, get in some shootouts, say some funny shit for TikTok, build a TikTok. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because once you get the TikTok going, well, then your, your Twitch start going crazy. And you can go on any server and you'll be good. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Just don't have to worry about all the extra shit, you know? Yeah. There's no, there's no like attachments or. I don't like you because you're associated with this person. Da da da. You don't have to worry mm. about none of that shit. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck. All right, what's everybody doing? I'm probably going to bounce out and make food. I'm leaving. Good. Fuck you. Really, Angel? <laughs> you're leaving? Oh, my yeah. gosh. I'm going to go. Um, never mind. Did you go get your movie. What you going to do? Your heli license? <laughs> what you gonna... We're going to go watch a movie. You're gonna go watch a movie, huh? A movie? She's, she said, never mind, yeah. though. What kind of movie? Who gives a fuck? Come what category? 
Bro, I'm Angel getting character. a little Angel. Who cares about the fucking movie? It's just on in the background. Oh. Oh. Gotta go. Good what night. kind of toys got you got, Angel? Oh. She did that on purpose, Curtis. Come on. I know she did, that. bro. I know she did. She's setting us up, bro. Gosh, it's three dudes in a car. Three dudes in the car. Three, three dudes in a car. Three sausages. <laughs> three sausages. Yo, but um, we didn't really get to talk about it. I don't know if you guys did, but I I would like would love to talk. Would was wanted to talk about the GTA content, but we could do that next week. What well, what about it? Just like kind of like what like what to do in it. Yeah, we, what kind we of? We talked what about shit something. Kind of, we started to talk about. See now. Yeah, true. Or, okay. or, 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 or they, do they liking it? Do they like? Do they liking the progress? They liking the build up? Like, what more do they want to see of? Like, just shit like that. Just so we get ideas, you know? Yeah. Group ideas. Do they want to see? They like, like arcs, big... bro. They like longer, longer arcs that last longer. Yeah. Mixed in with um. Action content, essentially. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, if you're if you're like characterized like more of a purpose type of shit. Yeah, I felt I I was the the, the, the well, we could uh, we're obviously still doing a meth art, but obviously the lab getting stolen, just uh, yeah, dampens it. You know what I mean, but. Yeah, the podcast was good today, right, guys? I had a good laugh. I think, I think uh, even that wasn't even, like, fair RP, you know? Wasn't fair RP? Is that what you said? Like, some shit like that. Like, you know, was, your lab gets stolen, and then it's just ghost, you know? It's like, what? Where's the give and take oh, in there? Oh, you know? there's no give and there's, take. Yeah. There's no, like, there's no, there's no build up to it. It's not about the lab getting stolen. I think lab should get stolen. Right, but there's nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know what there's you mean. Nothing That's there. true. That's a good point. It was just. It leaves us at like a standstill, you know. Mm. I feel that's walk. Uh, all right. Well, I'm probably gonna head out. I'm gonna make some food and then, fuck. I guess I'll be around tomorrow. Um. Right. Yeah, I'll be in early tomorrow. Early? Um, okay. Yeah, up like three, four ish. You guys come in, Curtis, you come in like seven, right? And then Mattel, yeah, like you're at six 10. Or seven. I'm coming late. I got so much homework to do before tomorrow night. So you're like, we'll see. You're not coming in. Um, well, I might not. I don't know. We'll see. I got so Get much. Get your school do. shit done, bro. I mean, <laughs> you definitely. Bro, that's what I was doing all day today. Definitely, you know, get that situated. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Sunday's normally slow day. Summit's back. That's good. I like that. Well, he's on vacay, right? Who's who's on vacay? Summit. Yeah. What you mean? I'm pretty sure he went to California. When today? I think it was the, I don't know, maybe? I think it was today. Because oh. hey, he was dreading the flight, he, was, he had really bad anxiety over it. Oh, that's dope. So he shouldn't be around for the next few days, I believe. People are saying four days. Four days. Four days. When does Rami come back? Is he gone, he's gone till Monday or Tuesday? How long is Cap in New York for? How long is he? In, how long's Cap? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long Cap's in. Oh, five, four to five. Chat, Cap. So Wednesday. Oh, he'll be back Wednesday. Oh, so he's probably flying. Okay. Yo, what are you guys talking about Chi Chinese people? What? what do you mean? I don't know what the fuck y'all talk about. 
Why are people talking about China? Is there something going on in the world? Yeah, we gotta see. But yeah, I think this week was pretty good. Good content. Yeah. Uh, yeah right. But I do, I do think we need as a whole should be maybe getting into some conflict or laying down law. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, boys. Yeah. All right, I'll catch you guys. All right. Yeah. Peace, Peace, brothers. Later. All right, chat. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, man. I'm gonna go make some food and uh, chill out. But yeah, W stream, man, has been good, been great. I think uh, that went pretty well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, man. Thank you so much for stopping by, kicking it, showing love and support. You guys are amazing. Um. Yo, by the way, guys, I don't know if you've seen it, but I do have a new goal at 1,500. So, okay, at 1,000, we're going to do a cooking stream. And then at 1,500, I'm actually going to get a tattoo with my brother, my IRL brother. I'll record it as well and probably throw it on the YouTube. So, 1,500 is going to be for a, for a citrus tattoo. I'm going to get a citrus tattoo. What am I cooking? I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe Chat can decide what, what they want me to cook. And we'll uh, figure it out. Oof. Yo, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Kara Ogs. I don't even know how to say your name. The pizza. You want me to make the pizza? Nah, that shit, that shit's really quick though. Bro, fuck you guys. It comes out really good. It's in the air fryer now, and it's amazing. Um, what's Keo's stream? How, how do you spell it? Wait, should I raid Bless, though, actually, chat? Yo, thank you, Shefty. Because she, like, was in the podcast and shit. Uh... I don't know. Would that be more appropriate? What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's show her some love, man. She, she's good people. <laughs> and she is Smala Strima. We show her some love. Boop, 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 boop. She's getting off soon? Oh. Uh, all right well let her know uh, that thank her for coming on to the podcast and uh be nice chat and just show some support show some love but uh y'all i appreciate you guys man thank you for hanging out kicking it tonight i really do appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed the stream i hope it was uh was fun and all that good stuff uh, i should be back i will be back tomorrow oh so, yeah Go have fun. Go kick it with uh, Bless. And um, yeah, show some love. Appreciate you guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Love y'all, motherfuckers. Anybody got that? If you want it, you'll find it. All right, good night, guys. I appreciate y'all, man. Have a good night. I'm going to start the raid out. Peace, peace.